For a challenge, I wanted to clear the whole Louisville of zombies. With no respawns in the unbreakable fence to the west, the biggest, most dangerous city in the whole of Project Zomboid was mine for the taking. I played with the standard apocalypse settings with a couple of tweaks. Zombie respawn was off, loot was set to extremely rare and I started 6 months later in December, with water and electricity shut off from the start to spice things up. Now I set out on this adventure a few years ago, when Louisville was new to the game, to challenge myself really. So what follows is an edited and condensed version of the complete Louisville Challenge series, featuring Maxwell Chadwick, a strong and athletic man with certain downsides. He dropped straight into Louisville using Pillow's Random Spawns mod, and to help mow down the hordes, I used Britta's weapon pack. Now relax, crack open a cold one, and join me on this epic adventure. First goal over here is to actually find ourselves a weapon, and you know what? Maybe, maybe some shoes. Who knows where the hell we just spawned? Or, ooh, this could be good weapon chances? Broom? That's not a good weapon. Mousetraps, for real though. Fine. <laughs> we start with a broom, boys. Besides finding a weapon and <laughs> potentially shoes, our first goal is to get the hell out of center of Louisville, which I presume where we are right now. And, ooh, matches, that's good. He's a smoker. I would love to spawn in residential area instead of wherever this is. <sighs> We're gonna need to find a car as soon as possible and since we are six months later all of the cars should be in terrible condition. Getting all uh, our electricity to one and then mechanics to two is gonna be one of the first priorities that we can uh, we can get going. Auto manual, we're gonna take that. I, I can actually use that thing. Our safe house has been cleared. It's time to go and uh, meet the neighbors. Neighbors, would you like to provide me with some shoes? I would really uh, appreciate that. We got two neighbors incoming. First kill for Max incoming in about a second. In about a second, don't worry about it. Sir, please stay on the ground. I would rather not step on them. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to step on them now. Uh, because, well, we have no shoes, you know. You see, that's it's gonna be a problem for our feet. But shoes coming in soon. Okay, slight damage, don't worry about that. Sir, sir, would you mind? Please, I would I would prefer if you stay down while I uh, loot your friend. Socks, I would like to wear some socks. All right, there's some sneakers, I would like to wear those as well. Finding a watch right from the start is good. We also got a sweater and all that stuff. And you know what, Maxwell, you might not have a weapon, but you're looking uh, much better. Now, this seems to me like we are way downtown. And without a weapon, this seems like a terrible place to be. So, uh, how about we uh, start making our way downtown, walking fast, face is fast, and we're homebound. In the meantime, we're just gonna step on a zombie or two. Ooh. Ooh, we have a pistol. With actual shots in there. Not that we're gonna use a pistol right now, that would be a death sentence. This is a bakery, you're not gonna provide me with a weapon, I'm just gonna pass you all. We're just gonna walk our way away from this, and we're gonna find a place that should provide us with a weapon or two. We're gonna have a couple of friends come in with us, but that's that's not a problem. We're just gonna go for a quick walk. You see, he's a bit chilly. You guys, do you have anything in here? A toilet paper, of course. That's exactly what we needed. Calm down, boys. There's not that many of you. We're fine. How are we looking back here? Nothing for me. It would be cool if one of these cars were usable. Alas, I don't feel like I have the time to try. It's okay. We're fine. I'm just gonna check in the back, see if there's anything useful. Oh, this could be an opportunity to lose some of these guys. I don't know exactly where this is gonna lead me but certainly an opportunity to lose our followers maybe gain new followers all right buddy let's do this how many of you are coming one two that's fine that's fine that's one dead let's clear this one good all right i like it yeah if you want to come you want to come all right two three mm. really wish we could have a weapon four all right four is uh without a weapon a Bit obnoxious unless i can get them to all fall down at the same time that would be perfect come on snap on this one until he's dead no no we're good we're good lady sir excuse me lady excuse me no 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 i would like to step on on you there you go can we kill one that'd be great okay i think we turned one into a crawler which could be obnoxious with our pants and shoes 
that's fine. The other guy is still happy blasting the door, so we're good. You two keep on banging, don't worry about that. If these guys actually break this, they're gonna provide us with some weapons, so I'm looking forward to that. Alright, we are in actual pretty safe space. Looks like this is all encircled by the tall fence, so I am uh, feeling good right now. If we could actually get into one of the storage lots, that'd be glorious. Alas, we probably won't be able to. We need to drink. Probably you can get a drink from that area, but I don't want to cross yet. Five, actually. Not so good. Let's see where these guys went. Looks like they are still chasing around for something. Let's see if we can find ourselves a weapon, not a basketball. You guys still haven't broken this, huh? That's uh, a bit unfortunate. I'll take this, though. Okay, maybe I shouldn't take this. Why is there always 17 of you, huh? Why does that have to be the case? I, I see they broke that as well. Let's go here, maybe. Hey, guys. That's that's where the door is. Go break that. Uh, I would like to see if you guys have something to drink over here. Okay, yeah, you guys be busy with that. Oh, Jesus. Uh, they do have a drink for me. That's, that's sweet. Mm, they all came this way, huh? Uh, I'm slightly trapped. Hello, hello, friends. This way, this way. All right, uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. Just run. There you go. Easy money. They actually did break this. Good for you, boys. I would like to have these metal pipes and bars. Don't worry, boys. I will leave this lady be. Maybe I can get rid of these too without the others coming from behind. That would be nice. And then we can actually get a proper weapon in that pipe. Come on. Give me this. Give me those. Alright, we got... We got two. Two is good. Two is good. Alright. We're fine. Let's, uh, let's take a turn around over here. That's all I really wanted and or needed. I would like to get this one as well. Good, good job. Now, let's go onwards to glory. There you go. You guys can spread out a bit. So maybe we can kill some. The skull bad guy is dead. Perfect. Okay, now let's take these dudes for a swing and then we can come back for the skull bag. We're gonna be good enough right about now. Okay, let's let's run back here. Skull bag guy, where you at? Let's grab this quickly. If it's only the three of you following me, I'd like to finish you off and uh, then we don't have anybody following us and I feel better that way. You already broke that fence, but of course you did. Well, that just means more weapons for me. We have a following. Good thing is there's many fences. Bad thing is these guys know how to uh, get through a fence and then break it in a certain spot. All right, let's uh, let's go across over here. This seems like a far more empty area. Yeah, these guys actually don't know what to do with their lives. Perfect, perfect. Good stuff. If you don't know how to find me, I feel better about that, because that means there's no breakable areas nearby. I think there should be a gas station around here nearby, because we are still around the hospital area. Ooh, ranches. Let's go. Uh, no key, huh? No key? Oh, cigarettes. Let's go. Big stuff. Smoke them if you got them, boys. 6 p.m., 6.20. We're going to need to find a place to... Yeah, there's that gas station over there. We're going to need to find a place to stay the night. Uh, looks... Decently empty out here. I like that. Decently empty as he has three zombies coming for him. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Please, no alarm. Good. No alarm. I mean, breaking glass is kind of an alarm. Oh, let's go. Water bottle. That is big. In fact, we got three. Is that a military backpack, actually? Or is it just a large backpack? It's a large backpack, I think. Oh, boys. Let's fucking go. Oh, that's a, that's a great start. He's got wooden spears. Is that a baseball on that guy as well? All right. Well, you know what? This is uh, this is getting uh, pretty. I like this. We're getting some good good stuff. Are these, like, survivors out here? Oh, perfect timing for that metal bar to break. Place this bad boy. Be right there. And that should give us enough to enjoy a good night's sleep over here. Car would be uh, the next best thing that we could potentially grab. Not that any of these cars over here are gonna be any good. You can, you can see that uh, they're not in the best condition. How's our skills looking? We got short blunt, and now that we have this bad boy, we're gonna be gaining some long blunt. What is this? It's a rail railroad station, right? Right, I remember this place. You keep banging there. 
I'm gonna jump across over here, okay? Now, these guys don't know how to get to me, which, let's be real, is good as far as I'm concerned. Oh, okay, now that I crossed there, was like, yep, we know where you are. If you could please just stay down, I would appreciate that. Also, thank you for squatting up all of you together so I can just loot you all from one spot. This place looks pretty empty. Ooh, maybe they have something useful. More metal bars. Ooh, a shovel. Well, maybe I'll start gardening. Apparently my backpack's already full of random shit. Oh, very nice. A hammer. Gladly gonna take that one. I would like to actually have your, uh, your hat because uh, I need glasses. You see, I'm short-sighted, man. So, Max... We'll, ooh, we'll take this of you as well. And uh, where this bad boy? Now, I wouldn't actually fight these dudes if there weren't uh, like a sweet looking car nearby. I know you have the same hat as me, but that doesn't mean that we can party. Is that a key on the ground or are you just happy to see me? Imagine if this thing's got gas. I do not believe it's got gas. Like that kind of luck would be too much. You can take that, I guess. Holy balls on the chopstick. We actually have a car. Well, maybe. Uh, let's go check at this battery. Oh, it did start now. Uh, okay. Boys, we have ourselves a car. I knew it would be totally worth coming over here. We're gonna go out of the city proper. And we're gonna start staging from the edges. Of course, finding generators and the generator book would be the next goal so we can start refueling at a gas station you know and uh yeah well we'll see how that works we made it to the highway and now we're just gonna take it down further down here there's a nice motel next to the highway is that a sledgehammer on the ground oh, oh my god that is a sledgehammer on the ground are you actually shitting me this feels like i took like 17 lucky trades okay that alarm does not help at all don't worry about it. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I just want this. I just want this. Don't worry about it. We're good. All right, let's fucking run out of here. Woohoohoo, boys! We got a sledgy. No, please start, buddy. Let's fucking go. This is our stop right here. We have two areas like that. That's a food place right there. And then this over here is gonna be the motel. That we're gonna clear out and make our home. With Sledgehammer, we can basically do whatever the fuck we want now. It's gonna open us some avenues to get shotguns and such. And shotgun is definitely a thing I wanna find. Well, right about now. Ooh, that's a level up, probably on the long blunt. Yes, very nice. I like it. Also, screwdriver. The fact we still haven't found a fucking screwdriver to be able to disassemble these. And we gotta make sure that this place is empty. No bathroom zombies, no nothing of that. There is some banging upstairs somewhere. Need to figure out where. There's a lady back here. Or a sir who broke the goddamn window. I wasn't fast enough to get over here. I'm gonna place some roadblocks over here. At least that kind of blocks this area. Oh, you are here. I was looking through the window and couldn't see him. Found him. Okay, upstairs have been fully cleared. This is gonna be our our home over here. Home away from home, out here on the edge. You know what? The sledgehammer gets the, the place of glory right there. This area is now gonna be blocked off. No access from here, or at least no easy access for these fools. Food is a bit of an issue for us right now. Not much food to be had. Oh, this place has a kitchen. Maybe we can find something back here. That would be that would be sweet. Oh, cigarettes. That's big. We need more cigarettes, boys. Oh, good. Some canned food at last. That's uh, it's gonna be helpful, so we don't need to just eat chips. Lady, is that a shotgun on your back, or are you just happy to see me? Oh yes. Oh, that is big. We got a holster, which is decent enough. We also get ourselves a shotgun. No shells. But we have a shotgun. Coffee. I guess this is the only thing we can hope for in here. Cigarettes and matches. So definitely gladly take all of that. Oh, that's a crowbar in that bad boy. Oh, that's that's nice. If you are using our baseball bat, might as well put some spikes on it. You know, spi spice up with spikes. We do have a clear goal what we want to do today. And I'll explain that in a second. Basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be following the roads that 
leads away from town down here. And over there, there's some military compounds that will have guns and ammo for us. It's getting chilly out here, minus six degrees. Let's have some uh, light morning exercise. Exercise, not extra fries. These guys have some cars over here. Uh, that's fine. We, we can come and loot this place later on. Now we have to follow the road down here. Because our goal lies just ahead. First things first though, looks like we're gonna have a roadblock that we kind of need to clear out. Sir, lady, stay down. Good thing about these military areas down here as well is we might be able to find... Oh, come on, sir. None of that. We might be able to find some good clothing that doesn't have holes in it, you know, that's... It's always a good one. Also, I do not know if you notice what I have just noticed over here, but there is a generator right there. Uh, let's hope this thing can be opened. It is locked. Well, then I have to help this lady and destroy our weapon a bit. Lady, you got this. I believe in you. <laughs> she this. She does have it. But she also has nothing else. Oh, she's got a key. Maybe I should turn the car off, you know? Just just thinking about this. I was hoping it's gonna be unlocked. But maybe I really should have turned the car off. I wonder if she's gonna want to help. She is gonna want to help. Great. Uh, maybe that was a mistake switching to this pipe. Because it's a, it's a terrible weapon, clearly. You know what? Screw this. So much better. <laughs> This is where we need to be. This is where the good stuff happens. And there's a third generator. Holy shit, this guy's just scared me. Oh, screwdriver. Yes, perfect. Dismantle. Oh, there you go. Automatic emergency broadcast system. We're gonna take this bad boy with us. All right, we have uh, six boxes of 45 rounds. That's a start, we're gonna take that. A magazine and a double holster. I don't think we need a double holster, but you know what? For the sake of having a double holster, let's grab it. More magazines, we'll take that. And a hunting knife, gladly. Oh, military bulletproof vest. Yes, yes. Oh, gas masks. More ammo for us, nice. Sniper wiper hood. It kind of glitches through, but we look cool as whole hell. <laughs> nice. Let's grab the generator as well. I mean, now what we need is to find an actual book to be able to use it. Now, this area over here has got pretty much burned down buildings. There's a gas station, as you can see over here. This is one of the safest gas stations you can get to. Of course, you can get to them if you have a sledgehammer. And luckily for us, we do. Lady, please. Luckily for us, we do. So we're going to make a hole over there and then we can leave our uh, generator over here in this area. Sledgy is coming out. Oh, looks like that has awoken the natives. Of course, we can't use it yet, but for future, it's gonna be right here when we need it. Ah, shit, we have some wrecks on the road. I am a bit disappointed with the amount of ammo and stuff we have found at the other one. I mean, it's not so bad. I would really like to get shotgun ammo. That's another generator over there. Oh my, ah, there you are. You were just sneaking in the back over here. All right, give me something good. Military backpack, that is good. That is better than the large backpack we have currently on us. So I will gladly do a good old switcheroo, but I'm not leaving this one behind. We're gonna pick it up. You know, never know when you, when you can use them. That is like a full on fresh, beautiful boots. These ones, kind of bloody. Let's replace them. Oh, nice, two boxes of shotgun shells. You'll love to see it. Army helmet, oh yes. Gotta, uh, gotta be in style. Now we're looking good, boys. And a magazine. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a proper army man right there. More magazines. That thing's got ammo. T-shirt. We don't really need to... That 22 boxes? Holy shit. Yeah, that is 22 boxes. That's another M16. Ooh, sweet. And some more ammo. And that's a Rambo blade. We're gonna be proper Rambo boys now. Hell yeah. Let me help you, lady. Because I see you're having issues over here. Oh, wow. I destroyed it fully. 
And there goes my baseball bat. I'm gonna take the generator that we have found over here, just so we can pick it, uh, pick it up, bring it back home. It's the one that is the furthest away from our home, so you know, might as well uh, grab it right now as we are here. It is getting late, so we could potentially turn back and go home, but I think what I wanna do is continue exploring in this direction. There are two farms nearby over here, and I'm thinking we're gonna go visit those two farms and we can spend the night in one of them. Now that's one roadblock we cannot quite clear right now. And it is getting dark. I can come back here uh, in the morning. We're just gonna make it down here. Oh, this farm has a van par parked outside. Let's make sure there's no nobody home, no inhabitants. Dirty rags, a mop. Yeah, I don't need none of that. It is morning time, which means it's time we go onwards to glory and continue exploring the fringes of Louisville for now. Let's go down this way. There's another house down this way. We're gonna go check it out. Oh, it's nice and open. I do hear a zombie. Where do I hear a zombie? That's a good question. Might be outside, might be a toilet zombie. So you're in here, aren't you? Yes, as expected, got all toilet zombie. No food out here at all. That disappoints me. Well, we had to check this place. It didn't really provide us with much, so that's fine. It's gonna provide this zombie with its death, though. So I guess we got that going for us, which is nice. Hey, what are you doing next to my car? Did you, did you just scratch it with a key? Did you do something like that? I swear to God, if you keyed my car, I'm gonna be mad. All right, we're gonna have to stop over here. The reason for that is not because I want to kill all these zombies that are around here. That was a stupid run, necessary run. Unnecessary run, I should say. Uh, the reason we stopped here is because I wanna check these two uh, post boxes or whatever they're called. Because these sometimes have the magazine pamphlets that could learn, learn? Could teach us the way to use the generators. Because that is really the next thing we have to get. So, uh, if we have to kill a couple of zombies for that, well, we shall. Ooh, gloves. Very nice. We didn't have gloves yet. So, finding one that are full condition as well. That's, that's big. I like it. Well, stopping here wasn't worth it. So, that's fine. I guess uh, we cleared out some of the denizens out here that we had to clear out in any case this right here is gonna be our next stop i want to check these cars see if uh there's any good and maybe we can even take that bad boy because that's uh propane stuff you know we can we can cook with that okay i guess you guys are not gonna let me be oh you have an axe in your back i think that's a hand axe though so not that amazing but it is the first axe we found also, not that good of a quality, but better than nothing. This bad boy also has a key, but it seems to be kind of broken with no gas anyway, so... I mean, there's trees growing through it, so... <laughs> not sure if you can get much off of that. This thing's got 20 hours of fuel. Hey, uh, I I think I'm gonna take this. We're gonna need to do some vehicle mechanics. This, this beautiful car is being... Oh, come on. It's very useful. Alas, it is not gonna last for too long anymore. So let's uh, let's go towards home. We have a lot to unpack right now. We have a generator, we have the barbecue, we have full trunk of ammo. Oh, honey, we're home. I wish there was a honey over here, but we are nonetheless home. Generator has been placed. We got that. Uh, all of these guys are coming. Ah, you're coming for us out of the highway. You guys could have let me at least take the shotgun so I can, you know, do some... Do some trying and testing and all that stuff. Although, let's be real, I don't necessarily want to use it back at home. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to the highway to use that one. I think that might be better. Barbecue right over there. Oh, perfect. We can, we can now cook with onions. Not that we have much to cook, but hey. We can actually cook. So we get 50 shotgun shells out of that. Okay. Time to start uh, leveling up our reloading skill. Look at this bad boy. We're probably not going to be hitting much with it. Not yet. That's all red, is it? But you come closer. Ooh, you love to see it. Oh, yes. 
Sounds good as well, boys. Now we're cooking with onions, and now we're probably gonna get uh, some incoming traffic. Highway police is here. Let's get ready. Let's start yoinking. Oof. That's some, that's some good shooting right there. Some good shooting. Oh, feels so good. Doesn't it? Two more friends incoming. Oh, ho, ho. double kill. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is this is the way. Can I hit both of you at the same time? Eh, kinda. Pretty good. Alright, we have a couple more incoming. I want to see if I can group them up a bit more. So we could do this proper. Don't panic, buddy. There's no, really no need to panic. Really no need to panic. He got this. Oh, he definitely got this. Okay, that one he did not get. That's fine. That's fine. You were thinking you need highway police, but this is that's pretty freaking empty down here. Those guys are complaining, but it's not like they can actually get to me. But maybe I can get to them. Can I get to all of you? You hit one. Oh yeah, that's better. I mean, these guys are piling neatly over here. Might as well uh, give it a try, you know? Oh, yes. Perfect target practice. Okay, maybe not that one. Luckily for us, this fence exists. <laughs> oh, boys. This is a good gun. We are, of course, running low on ammo already, but still. This is gonna level us up right about now. Woohoo! Level one shooting. Oh, it's so good. That is so freaking good. I do not think we have found any beta blockers, which is a shame. That's gonna be one of those things that we really need to find. Sir, please come down. Alas, it's uh probably gonna take a second we're gonna need to raid some medical facilities or something like that buddy there's nothing to be panicked about look at them all just sitting there waiting nicely for you nothing wrong with it perfect you know i don't know why you'd be panicked we're gonna go loot this after we're done just because i want whatever these guys might be carrying on them oh there's one Crawling on the ground over here. No longer. Actually, I'd rather just hit this guy with maybe a, a stick of some sort, you know? Just so we don't have an issue. Alright, yeah, boys, I'm I'm here now. But I'm here so I can loot you. Good thing we have a gas mask. <laughs> I don't really want to get uh, nauseous from all of these flies flying around here. Oh, see, these guys have... Uh, Ammo as well. Oh, beta blockers in this dude. Hey, where was that before? Shame I didn't check how many we uh, killed over here. How many we started, but we are 200 zombies now, which is decent. And that one and almost a half in aiming is gonna be so big for us. Oh, empties gas can. I don't know why I said empties, but it's a gas can. It is really a big thing that we do have that fence over there between us and uh well the actual city it does help a lot as, i mean as you've seen where we're shooting over there definitely helps so that's gonna be good in the long run for sure now that we can i'm gonna be uh cooking uh some uh, pasta over here i don't know if this is really a place where one would cook pasta but you know what it's better than nothing the man's hungry let's get some pasta cooked and turn a bad boy off perfect Let's nom on this one. Fresh cooked pasta. He's not very happy about it, apparently. I don't know why not. Pasta is great. Feeling a little sad for eating that? Dude, you're a weirdo, you know that? We're not that good on food right now. We do not have much stockpiled. And uh, what we can do is just hit the nearby residential area and just go house to house and start looting food. Two in-game days have actually gone by since the last episode. Two very uneventful days where I haven't really done much of anything. 
The first day I spent burying the corpses that we had out here, I just wanted to clear them out. And once I did that, I was like, hmm, we don't really have much time left to the day. And just went around a bit. If we look on the map, I went down here and cleared a couple of these houses. And, uh, well, we got lucky. Because what I found was uh, Electricity for Beginners book. Read that the next day. Took me, like, with a slow reader, basically the whole day to read that. So, <laughs> another uneventful day. And there's there's the there's the graves, as you can see. So, I did that. We also found Trapping for Beginners and Mechanics for Beginners, which I haven't read yet. But it's gonna be, it's gonna be very useful in the long run. Uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go further down, well, not quite south, but let's say south-ish. There is a hunting supply store nearby, a gas station, and there's a couple of houses around which I do want to clear, and I think that's going to be like the, the perfect area to do today. So that's where we're going. All right, go. This is where we need to be. We haven't explored down this way before, so this is going to be all untamed wilderness of well, zombie controlled area. Anyway, I don't feel bad anymore for disassembling every watch I see. Because now that we have the book, we're actually getting closer. We need a duffel bag? Probably not. Let's see, we're getting so close. I did disassemble every television that there was in that uh, complex where we live. Oh, chips. Right. We've been eating very unhealthily these days. So, uh, I really need to get some more healthy food, but... For now, chips will have to do. Fine, I'm, I'm coming in, don't worry about it. I understand that this might be your home after you died, but look, I need the food from here. Ladies and gentlemen, streamer's luck is real. <laughs> I am, like, right now, I am feeling sorry for basically every character I ever made. Because I have never had a character this lucky. This early on. Finding generators, finding a sledgehammer, finding a book on how to use them. We have everything. Now I can even start fueling up my car. We're gonna need to we're gonna need to go get a generator and bring it back here and start fueling it. Oh my god, 60 cigarettes. We found a hundred cigarettes in here. In this place. This is uh this is a great find, and I love it. Hey you guys have to have to cause issues, don't you? I, I'm not gonna go back home yet to hook up generators and such. Not gonna do that quite yet, because uh, I came here with a goal, right? I still want to go check out the hunting store that is in the same street, basically, over here. Oh, what is, what is that gun? This right here is the one. Alright, let's stop over here. We're gonna have some foot traffic coming in from all sides that we really need to deal with. So let's do that. I think at some point, yeah, we did level up to level 2 long blunt, which is actually pretty cool. So we can do a bit more damage. Of course, I am hoping that in here we can find some more shotgun shells. So I can, uh, well, level up my aiming and reloading a bit more. Actually, reloading I probably could level up if I just went and loaded up all those magazines with those like 30 boxes of uh, ammo that we have found. Alright, let's do this. Let's get through this bad boy, and let's see what it's got for us. Interdynamic KG-9. Okay, that's a 9mm gun, and there's a box of 9mm ammo, I like it. It's a bayonet, M4, okay, 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 okay. cool, 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 cool. Uh, I see canisters. Canisters usually have a bunch of stuff in them. Six boxes of 45 ACP. Six boxes of 357. I have no idea what that that's that's for, by the way. Eight boxes of 22. 22, I think it's pretty small caliber, isn't it? And a box of 762. I think that's more like rifle stuff. I, I don't know. I'm I'm no I'm no gun nut, so I really don't know. Yes, two boxes of shotgun shells. You love to see it, boys. You love to see it. Another Box of shotgun shells. I'll take the scope. We're gonna need to go unload uh, already back here because our backpack is full. I love this. We have a rifle scope and a red dot sight. Oh, look at that. More shotgun shells. You love to see it. Although, I don't know if we have any for the 10 gauge. I don't know. We do have the 
the big one over here for that one, the Mossberg, a couple more shotgun shells and whatever this is. Oh, this is also a shotgun. Uh, gas mask, apparently a better gas mask that we are wearing right now. Oh, this one is stacked as well. We have a sling, more magazines, more ammo. I don't know what these guns are. We're taking them all though. Kids, don't do what I just did at home. This is how you get yourself killed carrying way too much stuff like this. Both of my back seats are completely full with guns and ammo right now and we still have some in our inventory and we have our trunk full. What we're gonna do is we're gonna also check this milk and more place. We found a bunch of canned food which is uh, great and uh, lots of uh, lots of candies. Ah who hit the tree over here? <laughs> that wasn't intentional I was trying to avoid the goddamn zombies. And I did more damage to her car that... Oh, look, there's somebody home over here. Uh, sir, sir, this is not your home. This is my home now. What are you even doing here? And I'm sorry because I called you sir. You clearly are a lady. But lady, you have no, no chance to stay alive over here, okay? Well, without any carpentry skill, these are the best I could do right now. These medical drawers. Uh, they only have, what, 15 kilos each? It's still better than nothing in my opinion and this could be our uh, storage for guns and ammo. We're gonna need, we're gonna need more storage. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. We're just gonna need more storage but this, this for now it will have to do. Of course shotgun boxes, not that many of them but we should be able to level up a bit more with the ones that we have. The book on how to read generators have been read so we got that going for us now. Which is awesome, finally, we'll be able to use generators and that's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. He's very tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep. What our goal for today is, is to continue down south, that way we went before. And we're gonna go and, uh, well, connect that generator that we have uh, next to the gas station. Refuel our car there and then bring the one sole uh, gas can that we have, that one, full over back here. And we'll also take another generator with us, the generator that you can then drive to the other gas station that we just kind of cleared. There we go. There's our guns. These are pretty heavy <laughs> and we have small, small errors. Lots of magazines. We have lots and lots and lots of ammo stored all, all over this place. Oh, it is getting foggy. That's no good for what we're doing today, but I think we should still be fine. Yeah, okay. Extremely foggy. I can't see stuff. <laughs> ah, shit! Right in the middle of the road, all of you, huh? Stop it! I mean, we eventually have to kill these guys because we have to clear them all. But you know, just uh, one one piece at a time. Now squeeze through. Don't hit nothing. Good job. Oh, there's the right. These generators. We're gonna pick them up as we go back. Ah, there we go. This is our stop. Zombies first. Sir and or lady, you scared me, by the way. I was just trying to connect that. You did scare me. All right, generator has been connected. You'll love to see it. Now let's grab the gas can. And let's siphon the gasoline from this bad boy. So we can then put the gasoline in there. And then turn this on. Fuel this bad boy up. All right, gasoline added. We should be able to turn this on. Nice, and we can now refuel from the gas pump. <laughs> oh, boys, we got electricity going. You love to see it, lady. Just, just give me a second. Let me finish this, okay? Oh, you have, you have multiple friends, not just a lady. I guess uh, they do like the sound of uh, the generator. How is our crowbar quality, actually? It's probably not gonna stay with us forever. Yeah, and we're gonna need a new weapon at that point. Let's take the fuel from this, fill it up. Our one and only gas can that we have. This bad boy can now be turned off. It's full on fueled. Oh man, you love to see it. Okay. Oh yeah, we really need to do some mechanics over here. Our engine is at 30% because we have no hood. All the damage goes directly in there. That is great. Recommended skill of mechanics three. Well. We need a new hood for this car. Let's see if I can get it at some point. If I hit another tree, this car might die. Do you want our car to die? No. So, about maybe we don't hit trees and or zombies. The main reason why I stopped over here is I'm taking that generator with us. 
Hopefully I can come back home without <laughs> too many issues. Yeah, this car barely starts anymore. We're not gonna have much life left in it. We're gonna need a new one very, very soon. Well, at least we made it back home. So we got that going for us, which is nice. This bad boy over here seems to have a better hood. Now, of course, I'm probably gonna damage it as I try to uninstall, because I'm not very good at it. Let's see. Yeah, 79%. And we do have the basic mechanic. Come on, buddy. Don't break it. Don't break it too much. I would love you if you... Oh, we got it. Okay. 79% hood. Now, installing it is also probably gonna be a bit of an issue, so... Let's try it. We have 35% chance of success. Chance of damage, 65%. Don't fail, please. Please don't fail. Oh, we have 79% hood which means our 28% engine is at least a bit more protected. You need to be, what, Mechanics 4 to start repairing this, and you need spare engine parts, which you don't have any. But you know what, at least our hood looks a bit better now. So we have 5 boxes now of 12 gauge shotgun shells, so 138. Oh, you love to see it. We're gonna go be a road warrior a bit more and start leveling up our skills. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna drive towards the highway, and I'm gonna just start cleaning it. Because, well, it's gonna be decent skill ups for us, and we do need that place cleaned up, you know. Already see our first victims. Let's see, we got this. Oh, you heard that lady, didn't you? Oh, hell yeah, you did hear, hear that. Okay, that's unfortunate miss. We got this. Let's go. It would be smart not to use uh, shells on single zombies. Alright, let's see what we've got. Can we hit the crawlers? Maybe we can't hit the crawl. Don't be panicked about this, buddy. You got this. You got them all. Okay, now we're gonna need to reload a bit. Oh yeah, they're starting to come back to the fray, which is good. Because we want to group them up a bit more. Oh, well, that actually hit the other one as well. Injure him, though. You know what? For you, I have one word. Die by the crowbar. Could you guys come here in bigger groups? That would be so much better for me. What's the range on this, I wonder? That's actually pretty good range for a shotgun. Lady. Dudes. There you go. That's the spirit. Hitting two is so much better. The road warriors got this. Sir, if it's just the one, just the one of you, then you get the crowbar. Ladies first. Okay, now everybody come here together. I would like to shoot more than just one. Decent. Let's wait so we can side both of you. And we actually hit the one back there. See, like this, he's not even panicked, which is great. Max Chad would never be panicked. Don't be panicked when you see them like this. Ooh, good shots, good shots. We have we have a couple coming from behind as well, so we have to be we have to be careful about that. Just uh, keep them together so we can maybe shoot multiples. No such luck. But this thing does so much damage. It does more damage than like a normal shotgun would. You're alone, so you get a wrench in the face. Actually, you're not alone. Actually, there's four of you. That's glorious and awesome. Let's go. Woohoo! Beautiful. You are a loner, though, so you do get a wrench. Oh, no. Uh, one more coming. Let's go. And yoink. That's perfect. That is perfect. How's our skills looking? Getting up there slowly but surely. All right, yeah, you come on in. Come on in, boys. Woohoo! Ooh, that's four at the same time. Let's go, boys. The shotgun master is here. All right, both of you at the same time. Yes. Like with this, we're going to be level two uh, in aiming soon. Two at the same time. I think I hear somebody in the trees as well. Got to be careful there. Oh, yeah, there you go. Two. Oh, maybe I should read out. Oh, it's jammed. It is jammed. All right, pull back a bit and... Not as good as you hope, but that's fine. Ooh, reloading level one as well. 
You gotta love it, boys. You gotta love it. I really wish you would stop coming at me solo. Because that was an unfortunate miss. Let's see if I... Can I hit you both? I can't, can I? So that's unfortunate. Alright, well, you stay down. Highway Warrior never gives up, but you know what? Just uh, fighting one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, maybe not so much one-on-one -on -one as I thought. <laughs> I don't want to use too many of her shells, because they're not infinite. Ooh, empty knife. I'll take that. Electricity, level one. Oh, boys. Now we're talking. Okay, it was uh, worth killing these guys and taking their wristwatches. And apparently hunting knives. We have found three hunting knives in these guys. This is our stop. Let's yoink. Decent. Oh, even better. Yeah, we should really be close to level up on this one. Okay, that was unfortunate. But you know what? That's what I get for hitting one. Together. Yes. Better. How about you two guys squat up nicely? Come on. There you go. That's the spirit. The other one's still alive. But we can deal with him in due time. How are we doing on ammo? 93. We haven't actually used that, ma that much yet. I've been careful, saving some. Oh, we are really close to level up there. Are you gonna be the one, lady? Let's go. Aiming level two, awesome. We need to get one more level and then I'm gonna be more comfortable using other guns as well. Intersection over here is probably gonna be busy. So we can probably start aiming and shooting right from the start over here. Hello, friends. Woohoo! I love me this shotgun. Very good and useful stuff. Unfortunately, it does have only four shots. And yoink! That lady survived, unfortunately. We have a couple more incoming, and I have empty shots. I do love Brita's for actually showing you up here how many shots you have. It's very, very useful. Because otherwise, you have to, well, of course, count your shots. And we all know counting cards is not allowed. How about counting shots? When you're stressed like this in combat? Well, well, we have a gem. That's fine. Okay, you are a bit close. Okay, now he's not hitting anything. The extreme panic is not helping over here. I'm not taking beta blockers for two guys, though. That's the spirit. I'm actually gonna wait for the other one to get back up. And then shoot. There you go. It's funny because he's never this panicked when he actually has to like fight in melee. But <laughs> ranged is like, yeah, that's too much for me. I don't want to shoot. I want to get close in. That that makes me less panic. He's also thirsty, the poor guy. Hey, short blunt leveled up to one as well. We are all about new levels today. You love to see it. Okay, you know what? At this point, I have melee like. Seven of them he was like, yeah, you know what? There's just one. There's just one coming. In truth, it was like seven, but they all came one at a time. It's time to go home. It's getting dark. He's drowsy. He's peckish. He's 30. 30? He's probably 30, yeah, but he's also thirsty. The highway warrior used half of his shells, actually. We're gonna drive towards, well, where we've been yesterday. Uh, where we were the highway warriors, you know, and we're gonna continue being that today with much Well, whatever shotgun shells we still have the goal for today Bring the generator that we have with us all the way down to the gas station we had out there clear out some more zombies and Probably gonna go loot some houses out there just so we can find some more food and here they come from all sides now Nothing else. This is good training For our shooting Okay, at that point, you move away a bit and you start reloading. Alright, we're good, we're good, don't worry about it, don't panic. Buddy, don't panic. Let's get the beta blockers this time around. Come on, take the pills. I don't want you panicking, because we have a couple of zombies on us. And we can clear them all out. There you go. That's the spirit. <laughs> oh, boys! Oh, yes. Good thing we brought a shotgun with us. Because this would be 
a bit much otherwise. Alright. Keep going. <laughs> well, there's a couple more here than I expected. Previously, we brought different melee weapons to this fight. And we never seen this many out here. Really? Another jam? This is gonna be a problem because uh, the whole road is gonna be filled with corpses now. But you know, we're starting to see the, the Louisville proper over here with how many zombies can there be. Even though, keep in mind that this is still suburbs where we are right now. We're not even in Louisville proper. Okay, that was too close for comfort, no need to, to play that close. We've got time. We took beta blockers, he's not panicking right now. So just keep on keeping on. We're gonna clear them out. This is why a shotgun is so freaking good. Look at that. And yes, I know some people were saying, hey, this shotgun is gotta spread like a claymore mine. I mean, that's Brita's weapon pack right there. This is not a base game shotgun. Just keep it in mind. The last couple of guys are gonna get the crowbar to the face. Or maybe not, because <laughs> I'm gonna miss them. All right, there's there's more now, but still, I uh, I want to save my ammo because we all know that the shotgun ammo is problematic right now for us. This is where is it? Pretty much all we have. We used half of what we had today. We already used it, so I want to save that. We do have some 10 gauge and 20 gauge ammo, and I do know that we have the oh come on. That we do have the 20 gauge shotgun. I don't know about 10 gauge though. Whatever gauge actually means. Uh, because I'm not certain what it means. So if any of you are pros at this, please let me know. I'm just guessing it's the size of the caliber. But that's pretty much all I know. Let's drop our generator somewhere around here. That should be fine. And let's connect it. This is gonna be our secondary gas station. Whenever we go to town, this one can be it. Now that we left the generator over here, I'm gonna go further up the street because there should be a tool store nearby. Hey guys, how's it going? Sorry for letting you live. I'm sure you will follow me and then we can kill you. Uh, we can check this restaurant as well. And the crock pot place. And we have a couple more over there. That's fine. Let's go check these places because we, we definitely need food and beer and liquor over here. Sounds like a great idea. You guys are lucky I don't have a shotgun on me right now. Otherwise, this would be bad for you. Okay, fine. Well, if you don't want to actually fall on the ground, let's pull back a bit then. There you go. That's the spirit. We need to clear our clothing at some point because we are pretty bloody. Wish rain would do that for you. Guess Rain doesn't want to do that for me. Well, this one had just rotten food and nothing else. This one was nice. We got a bunch of beer bottles and can, and most importantly, we, we found bourbon. That we can use as Molotovs, or we can uh, disinfect our uh, rags or bandages and stuff like that. While we do want to clear this place of zombies, right? We don't want to burn it to the ground, because where's the point in that? So. The use of fire, we have to we have to use it carefully. This place was disappointing as well. All we got was a can of sardines. All right, this tool store seems to be pretty occupied. We're gonna have to be careful. All right, we have all of you on me. It's time to run to the car. Let's wait for the panic to go away. Perfect. Now we start rocking. We'll probably bring more people to the party this way. But, you know. That's that's how it that's how it goes. Let's get you two. That actually hit the ones in the back as well. Holy shit, the spread on this is great. How we looking down here? Yeah, we have a couple incoming. Gotta be careful. Man, I'm gonna miss having a shotgun. We're gonna have to go and uh, try to loot some more. Oh my god, the woods are alive! I did not realize there would be so many down here. I expected more to come from the city. Well, I guess the city is not as populated as these fields are. Ooh! That's another level up in aiming? 
Okay, actually level three aiming now. That... That's good. That is real good. Was that a crowbar there? That is a crowbar. That's actually very useful. I mean, we already have a crowbar, but having another one, because we're using it a lot, would be great. Ammo count by now is gotta be starting to go low, but... Can I hit all four? Not quite. How are we doing? <laughs> yeah, we are out of shells now. Shit. Alright. Hopefully this is the last ones. This is the last ones. Ooh, box of 9mm rounds over here. Ah, there we go. Found the crowbar. And there's also a Ruger pistol in here. Alright, we need to get off this bloody rain. We've been out in the rain for too long. How many zombies have we killed now? 486. I think we killed at least 100 today with the shotgun. Ooh, mouse trap in here. Alright, well, we're gonna, we're gonna take that. Maybe we can start doing some trapping. Tactical axe. Oh, that sounds like fun. Oh, we have uh, fishing supplies over here. We could use that. All right, tools have been looted. Let's make our way back home. Something I'm going to do over here is I'm going to try to bring this car with me back home. Just so we can do some uh, proper mechanics and start leveling up that. I'm going to pick up a couple more cars along the way. We barely have any power. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, we definitely need... A bigger, better car at some point. Are you really gonna just stall? Come on, buddy. Come on, Mr. Car. Really? I mean, I guess this is... This is closer than what we had before. Look at our collection of beer bottles and other assorted alcohol. You'll love to see it. <laughs> I'm gonna do some inventory management quickly uh, before we go to bed and maybe even read a book. Look at our assortment of pistols and various guns. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I have read half of the mechanic books now. We still need to read more of it. We still need to read more of it. But today I wanted to go on a different mission and maybe then take like a day off to, to read stuff. I wanted to go and see how close we can get to another military installation. If we follow the, the big unbreakable fence down to the south and we follow it all the way up north as well, we, we get to the actual proper entrance to Louisville. Instead of going down here, we're gonna take our right over here. There might be some cars <laughs> blocking our way. There's probably even more wrecks like this that are gonna be just across this whole thing. If I had a better car, maybe I could have squeezed through here. Is this a smart idea? This is not a smart idea. Let's see if I can push this car a bit. We got this. <laughs> Easy money. Okay, we might never be able to get back out of here again. Okay, don't actually ram it, just just push it a bit. It is turning around a bit. I don't know if we'll ever get back through. Maybe we can do this? Oh my god, we're squeezing through. <laughs> easy money, boys, easy money. Okay, this is where six months later complicates things. Right here, because uh, you can see the fence going this way, not actually following the road. And I think if you just started uh, with normal start, that would be clear of trees. But since we are six months later, well, as you can imagine, it's not. So we're going to have to make a hole in the wall over here so we can get through. And this is going to invite some zombies in, which is not something I uh, intended to do. Alas, there is really no other way for me to get through here. So I'm going to have to do that. And we squeeze through. Easy money. We're going to have to make another hole. Okay, we're going to have a couple that we need to take care of. If we can take care of them off the road, that would make me happy. Once again, we shall squeeze through over here. Perfection. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. There's some uh, zombies that have something to say against me doing this. Definitely more than I anticipated over here. That's fine. I guess I will have to kill some of you on the road then. Imagine if you had a shotgun right now. Ah, push it. Just push it. Shit. All right, let's try this again. Oh, yeah, we're pushing by. We're doing this. Easy. Easy money, boys. 
No problems whatsoever. <laughs> I'm gonna do a bit of a sneaking into the military encampment. Right here you can see there are two holes in the fence. And if you want to, this is your way into Louisville without having to go through the like main blockade. That way is our entryway. And we already been spotted and these guys are gonna start banging out here. This is the big military area, as you can see. That's a hospital that I wanna visit just to see if we can get some hospital supplies. Otherwise today, I just wanna get ammo. We're gonna ignore guns. I just wanna get ammo and hopefully that ammo is gonna be shotgun ammo. We got plenty of disinfectant, that's actually great for us. Three bottles. This area is also a place where you can find military zombies, like this one. And often they will have military backpacks for you, so... Well, often is debatable, but sometimes they will have military backpacks for you, so... Definitely worth coming to check out. Ooh, we found a better military uniform as well. Let's freaking go. Killer helmet? Is that Tarkov killer helmet by any chance? That's actually kind of cool. 90 weight reduction. Wow. Uh, is that an extra? Next to the bag? Holy shit. Okay. We got ourselves a proper chest rig as well. Where we can store our ammo and such. Yo, I love this. I love this. We're we're starting to look real cool, man. Hey, shotgun shells. Yo, you love to see it. More shotgun shells, boys. This is uh, this is great finds. I'm also finding all kinds of other ammo. <laughs> oh my god! Shotgun suppressor! Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes, please. All kinds of scopes and guns in here. We didn't even loot everything. I am very over encumbered carrying all kinds of ammo that we have found out here. Oh, Jesus. Where the hell was this zombie? <laughs> Hiding in the trees over here. I walked past you, I guess, before. Really just want to get to my car and get home with this loot. At last we make it to our banged up vehicle that can barely hold anything in its trunk. Right here is where you're gonna be, huh? Yeah, I thought we're gonna have to pop out and actually deal with these fools first. Otherwise they might go and start banging on my window and you know what that happens. What happens after the bang on your window and scratch it down, destroy it? Nothing good, let me tell you. Nothing good. This is tougher than you imagine, by the way. Tougher than it looks. Because also, this is a great way to glitch your car and never get it back. So, <laughs> we really need to be careful. Okay, the first problem solved. Alright, this is it, boys. The moment of truth. Can we squeeze through? Can we squeeze through? Okay, we got this. Easy, easy. Okay, that one... I don't want to push it out of the way. Uh, it's moving in a wrong direction. But it's a small enough car that maybe we can push it? No, now we just got ourselves stuck even more. Keep, Just keep going. Just keep on pushing. <laughs> just keep pushing through. Oh, that's great. That's great, boys. We got this easy money. No problems whatsoever. I never had any doubts that we could succeed over here. A day has gone by in game and I have fully read the mechanics book. So today we are on a mission to get some tools to be able to actually do proper mechanical stuff. And for that, we're gonna need to go deeper into the city. So we're gonna take our car. I also, you can see reloading is up to Two and a half almost because i was going through my guns reloading some magazines just figuring out what we have installing some upgrades etc etc and we do have our shotgun with us we have 57 bullets which is not amazing but it's something and i upgraded it now with the one point sling which i believe it makes it easier to carry or it's lighter a bit we have a suppressor on it which is amazing you know having a suppressed shotgun is gonna work wonders for us and we also have that uh, 12g carrier that i'm still not exactly sure what exactly it does but that's fine we're going deeper into the city we're gonna be hitting a place that has all kinds of tools for fixing your cars and uh, hopefully it's not gonna be too crowded oh great our car is already stalling 
<laughs> oh, this is not good. Oh, look at that. I would love to have this thing. One day we'll have to come back for it. I need to note this on my map so I don't forget where this is. All right, now we are going through more of a area where people came to shop. There's a Gigamart over there. There's all kinds of taco stuff. There's uh, some food places. All right, there should be a gas station coming up right here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, lots of cars over here. That's good to know. So just a bit further ahead on the right, there should be a place I'm looking for. And since there's not that many zombies, I'm going to be taking the crowbar out. I don't want to take the shotgun and use my precious ammo against just these couple of zombies that we can clearly deal with just using the crowbar that has served us well so far. So I don't know why it shouldn't serve us well now. There seems to be a few more following us up the street, probably heard our car they did see there was a lady that wanted to get out out here and there's a couple more this is the place we want to check oh it's open hello lady uh, there's there's more people who were shopping let's actually get you out i would prefer if you came out and then we fight you outside or not you know why would you that that would be too much to ask right fire pump is the first thing we're gonna take from this Oh, we have a log wrench. Our normal wrench we already have. Not not on me though, but we already have it. So I don't really need a new one. Screwdriver, more wrenches. Ooh, empty gas cans, that's always big. It's a car battery charger. Since we do have electricity now, I actually could take this. I've never used that thing before, but maybe it could be useful. It sounds like we have some friends back here. Who is it? Hello, lady. I've been hearing her just moaning back here constantly. Don't really want her breaking this up. There's a really busted down car. Don't really care about that one. We have so far found four empty gas cans, which is great. We haven't found a jack yet, though. They only have tires back here. I am hearing a couple of zombies, which I'm guessing might be in the garage over here. No, actually not. Maybe they're upstairs. We do quickly clear this out still looking for a jack or some brakes oh there you go all right found it we got all the things we need and or want just gonna quickly look at this if we have something good otherwise we can probably depart this premise oh this this car's got a key in ignition and a bit of gas but it looks like the battery is dead oh wow uh this one also has a key and it apparently has two gun cases one empty, one with a pistol. I'm also looting this store over here and finding more bourbon, which is good. Also more beer. Not sure if you want more beer, <laughs> but uh, we got we got plenty over here. Let's see if we hook these two up, if I can actually make it back home. If we can't, this is gonna be a problem. This might have been a terrible idea. I have a feeling this car might stall if we if we hit any zombies. Or if we uh, go on a patch of grass, this is not going well. As long as I can keep the car going straight as much as possible, we should be fine. But I do have to move around a bit just to avoid zombies and other obstacles on the road. All right, highway, here we go. Plenty of corpses in the ground. Let's go. All we have to do now is avoid this car. And hope that we don't stall over here again. Yes. Good. We got this, boys. Easy money. I didn't actually check if it's good or not. I just picked this one because it felt like it's going to be easier to tow it back. The battery is pretty bad. So is engine. But we can practice our mechanical skill on it. I want to see if I can uh, try charging up that battery. I'm going to fill this bad boy up. I'm gonna turn on the generator. Now we actually have all the lights popping up. Not sure if that's uh, the best idea. <laughs> oh, that battery is already charging. I didn't even do anything. It's just charging. I just I just put it down. Okay. Nice. <laughs> I mean, sure, we still have a pretty busted car, but uh, at least it's charging. That's good. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our gas station and we're gonna fill up all of those five gas cans that we now have car is dying again 
This is not the time. <laughs> we have a group of zombies over there. When you see all the bodies on the ground, you know you've arrived. All right, maybe it's time to try our new silent shotgun. I wanna, I wanna hear how this sounds. Still pretty loud, but it's, it gets the job done, that's for damn sure. Don't forget to turn it off. All right, our back seats are full of gas cans. We have five now. I think I'm feeling ready now to start uh, doing some proper mechanics. If this bad boy starts and I can actually get it back home, that'd be, that'd be a good start, I think. Looks like we have some people out here on our part of the road. I wanted to take them out. I really don't want any of these guys wandering into my home place. Now, when I was leaving this place, there was a lady around. I didn't kill her, and now she's gone. That, that makes me scared. I don't know where she is. Okay, that battery did not fill up much. Looks like we're gonna have to keep the generator running for a while to actually fill that up. Oh, we can pull this bad boy closer a bit as well. That's good. Yeah, let's have all the cars that I want to work on right next to each other. I presume van's gonna be harder to uh, pull because it's heavier. And also, I'm pretty sure we don't have the mechanics magazine to be able to properly work on that bad boy. That will do. Right here. Oh, I hear banging somewhere. Okay. Somebody went in here. Sir. Where'd you come from? Did you break the glass back here? Wow, that's rude. I also brought back a microwave that we're gonna drop in here. And uh, whenever we feel like we can, I don't know, microwave some food. So we can eat something hot. He's getting drowsy, so we're gonna need to go to sleep soon. Just a bit of light reading before we go to sleep. We've been reading this fishing for, for beginners for ages now. I don't see any zombies around. So we should have hopefully a clear, nice day. I still need to get in here. This thing is locked. I need to break that down at some point. Uh, it's the one place I haven't actually explored yet out here. I did want it to drop in here that thing. Maybe we can cook that bad boy. Oh, great. Already burned. <laughs> All I did was bring the corpse over yonder. Oh, we're not gonna eat this now. Screw that. I didn't imagine it's gonna cook that fast. What should be easy thing is to start uninstalling and installing tires. 65% chance to, to do this. Let's see, uh, we have 1.5 points in mechanics right now. Let's see, if we uninstall this bad boy, how good is that gonna be? All right, we did it. That gave us 1.5 point, and now if we can install it back. Okay, we succeeded, and that gave us less than uninstalling okay we have a lot of work to do still let's go get it all right so just working on this first car uninstalling the battery the seats we uninstalled the tires the headlights basically only the easy things that we have good success at we got 45 xp in mechanics just working on one car so well, if you work on this car, we should be having a level one, level one mechanics very soon. But right now, my dude is anxious, packish, thirsty. We're gonna need to uh, feed the poor guy a bit. Time to work on the second car, and hopefully we uh, we have some success here as well. We should be close to hitting that level one right now, working on this car. And I'm very, very excited. Let's go, boys. Even failing uninstalling this seat. Level one there. Now we just have to do double that, what we just did. And we'll be able to level up to two, at which point we can start hot wiring cars. And then I'll be I'll be going deeper into the Louisville, trying to find some good cars. And we should have better chances doing these things now as well, I think. Also, I've been hurting myself this whole day. Uh, my HP is uh, slightly going down. As you can see, minor damage there. But that's... That's fine. So on the big car over here, we cannot uninstall the seats because we don't have the recipe for it. But we can still uninstall the radio, we can uninstall uh, the battery, we can uninstall the tires. So we can still do these things and get some skill ups out here at least. There you go. Work done on the three vehicles for the day. Yeah, 
we're, we're getting some XP. You'll have to see it. We have also injured ourselves and we are hungry. And since it's not that late, I might actually uh, grab the car and see if we can pick up one of those wrecks that are nearby. We can, if we can bring that wreck over here, we can practice on those as well. Oh, it looks like uh, we are losing some corpses over here. That is good to hear. Actually getting rid of some of these is going to be a big boon for us. Can we connect these two over here? Yes, we can. Oh, that's great. Let's get these, let's get these wrecks home and let's tear them apart for parts that are not very good. Oh, can we do this actually? I think the other car is flying slightly. Come on, you got this, buddy. I believe in you. <laughs> I believe in you. Come on, let's go. Let's push you back a bit. There you go. Can we go this way? Let's push back a bit. This way. Push back a bit. Oh, we got this. Let's go. There you go. Just a bit forward. And I think we're good. We got ourselves a new wreck to deal with. Perfection. It's past midnight, but we're almost done reading the fishing for beginners. Hey, we done it. Okay. I wanted to finish this. I'm actually going to take this net trap and I want to see if I can set it up today. Otherwise, I believe it's 24 hours before you can work on the same car again to get XP for it. So we're going to have to wait until afternoon before we work on the... Uh, our three cars that we worked on yesterday, but we can go grab the other wreck as well and send that one up and work on the two wrecks in the morning. Oh yeah, we can place fishing net over here. Let's place it out here in the corner. We do have a zombie down here. I want to try this tactical axe, see how well this uh, works. Okay, I'm happy with it. <laughs> it's It's decent. It's fast, which is good, but it's only one-handed, so it's never gonna do as much damage as like a big old two-handed weapon. I have a feeling this one is gonna be kind of hard to get home, just based on how around it's turned. <laughs> but we can try, and that's really the best we can do. Oh, this works. This works well. I should just go back. <laughs> Backward seems to go much better than forward. There you go, that's decent enough. Our car park is uh, looking nicer by the second. That is very red. <laughs> that is very red. But at least we can uninstall the radio and install it back in. There you go. Alright, so working on the two racks. We are 93 out of 150 points now. Looking pretty good. Thirsty broken <laughs> hungry let's uh let's uh go for a pop right now that seems like a great idea healthy idea as well so uh, let's see if we actually get some xp if we work on this bad boy so let's see uh right now we are exactly at 93 let's uninstall maybe the radio yep that already gave us some xp let's go working late into the night we're getting closer to that level too we're very, very close now. Just a couple more things. Just maybe one more failure at uninstalling the seat. Ladies and gentlemen, level 2 mechanics. You'll love to see it now. We actually have the ability to hotwire cars. Not that we want to hotwire any of these cars because they are, well, really terrible. But we have a chance to hotwire some cars when we go into the city next and maybe get back a much better car than what we have currently. Let's go check this thing. How do you know if you caught anything in this in this bad boy? Check trap. Let's see. Did we get anything? Trap has been checked. I don't think... Oh, we got a little bait fish. Oh, well, that's nice. Usually use these for bait. Yeah, there you go. The little fish has been cooked. It gives us three food. Usually you, you use these fish as bait for fishing, but since we're not going to be doing fishing right now and that thing's probably going to go bad otherwise, I uh, just decided to eat it. I just ended up recording an hour of footage without actually having my microphone turned on. So, you know, good stuff. Uh, what we've done is we went to the nearby uh, places, two days have gone by, uh, which is the place we, we looted some of that. 
we got a bunch of books we have carpentry for beginners and intermediates as you can see we have found this car which is in pretty pretty decent shape as well uh, we also found mechanics for intermediates which i have by now read so we have that bonus going on we killed a couple of zombies nothing too major but now we are on a new mission what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back uh where we got all of those uh car tools right before that there was a smaller mall and that place has a bookstore what i'm looking for is to find that magazine that's gonna allow us to work on heavy duty cars we have now found a magazine for the sports cars as well but not the heavy duty so we still have lots of work to do so let's go get it all right this is gonna be it this place out here on the left it does seem like there is some zombies and i'm guessing there's gonna be more inside we have a couple of uh, shots still left on our gun. Actually, these guys don't seem to care. This is the mall. <laughs> we need to make our way in it and probably gonna have some fun with the zombies inside. All right, let's open the doors for them. It's time to bring out the shotgun and everybody around here is gonna hear us shoot now. Oh yeah, those guys are starting to bang. They're gonna probably break all the glass windows. Maybe I should be using melee weapons. Can I hit you all three? Decently. I'll take that and start reloading. I didn't quite check how many bullets we have, but it's like we have around 50 left. So really not that much. Maybe beta blocker time. I just want to group them up in a way that I can shoot multiples. There you go. That's, that's always for the best. Come on, boys. We got this. You, I'm gonna just step on your head, because in reality, don't want to use my bullets too much. Let's do this. Oh, that was an unfortunate uh, whiff. That's fine. But I'm ready to start getting in here. Oh yes, we have more. Yeah, unfortunate way to position ourselves. Let's start shooting in the mall. What could possibly go wrong? This is not a big mall, though. This is a smaller mall, but still... I see quite a few of them creeping behind me over there. <laughs> oh, great. Or, you know, if we shoot from here, this is also decent. They're all nicely positioned together, so we can have some good shots. Oh, yeah, there's more coming. Don't panic, buddy. Just don't panic. Just keep on shooting and you're good. There's definitely more over here, but luckily for us, they got stuck on some, some stuff some windows all right even more incoming we're probably not gonna have this very soon when we run out of bullets yeah don't 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 miss like that 20 shells not very good but better than nothing boys maybe we can clear them out in time we can save the bullets that's the important part beware the shopping dead uh, you ladies keep banging there. I'm not opening that door for you. How about one of you? There you go. No, I said one. You guys don't listen. See, if you learn to listen, you probably wouldn't be zombies right now. Well, this looks uh, cleaner now. We have some digital watches to disassemble. Still zombies around. I switched to crowbar if you can, you know, if you start smashing things. We will be a bit quieter than a gun. Just stay on the ground, boys. I think that was the police officer, maybe. Alright, that's that's a decent amount of them cleared over here. Yeah, that was a police officer. We do need the magazine. We don't need a pistol. We'll take the rest. That's a lady with a proper axe in her back. Oh, I like that. I like that big time. We don't have an actual axe, so this is going to be very useful. Also, the way I just positioned myself is a death sentence. Don't, don't do it that way. Because you, you've seen I positioned myself in such a way that I didn't see what is behind the corner. Easy way to get hit from behind and kill that way. You don't want to be positioned like that, just so you know. That axe is also pretty decent quality. I like it. Well, we have hand axe over there. This store looks like it's got tools and such. It doesn't seem to be that many zombies. I mean, we killed, what, maybe a hundred over here? If that... Sure, we didn't kill them all, but this is only like... Oh, okay, we have incoming from the other side as well. This is a small mall, so... 
not the the big scary ones this is some kind of a tailoring store over here i've seen they had yarn they have sweaters and such i want to see if they have maybe some needles that we could grab because eventually we'll want to do tailoring as well right most of this is empty unfortunately oh they have threads that's good where did that many of you come from again oh jesus all right we have we have a training coming once again. Looks like these guys either broke through or were part of this mall before. I don't know where they're coming from, but scary stuff. I don't want to be back in too far in this direction because we know there's zombies in that direction as well. Oh, there we go. Found the needle. I think that right there is our bookstore. We do have still some in the hallway and I've definitely heard through the walls there's a couple out there in that bookstore so we're gonna have to deal with all of that and then we can do some easy looting whoa what is that on your back lady it's a cool looking shotgun and it does have some ammo in it which is great lady don't you know that you should be quiet in our library i know this is not a library it's a bookstore but still same rule applies okay stay quiet how to use generators there's more books in here that we could ever read alas we did not get the magazine that i wanted which was the one to fix cars we also should be going home by now there's more zombies incoming in here and it's getting late oh that's another proper x oh let's go i can't say no to that like i literally cannot say no to that all right you know what we have more zombies incoming it's getting real dark in here it's gonna be 8 p.m soon time to get out i've gotten some really good books out of this we have gotten all kinds of good stuff that our slow reader guy is gonna take probably weeks and months to read uh also there's one thing that we have found uh in that recording that i've lost because there's recording for like one hour and then realize hey maybe i should turn on my microphone that sounds like a great idea we have found a vhs tape one only one and i think it's on fishing we made it home boys we got some good loot and we used most of our shotgun ammo which is sad but we did get a new shotgun so there's that oh wow it's bright out here look at this oh, that's cool i guess it should turn off some of these lights because every time we turn on the generator it's gonna be using a lot of fuel to keep on all of these lights. All right, let's do this. Let's play the VHS tape. Oh, maybe I should turn on the TV first. Let's keep it like this. And let's start playing. And as we watch, you can enjoy a nice beer bottle. Exposure, exposure survival. Good. Boredom going down. Let's see, this should be uh, for fishing, I think. It's the one. Ah, there we go. Fishing's going up. Look at that. Level one, boys. Good. Can we get some more? Okay. Learn making fishing rod. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I did not know that you can learn that from uh, a VHS tape, actually. Look at our book selection over here. You'll love to see it, boys. We're gonna be we're gonna be reading like bosses soon. The man actually slept till twelve. I didn't I didn't turn on the alarm. I was like, yeah, let him sleep. It's fine. This he was very tired. He slept till twelve. <laughs> what a man! What a myth! What a legend! I'm gonna go maybe chop some trees or something like that, uh, just to barricade some of these uh, uh, windows back here. That might be a good idea. Uh, we do want to read the book first, though, so maybe I'm not going to be barricading. Maybe I'm just going to chop some of them down. The forest man is here. <laughs> the forest man. I don't know why I said the forest man. He's a lumberjack. Let's start chopping down some trees. He's strong, so chopping down trees shouldn't be that big of a problem for him. All right, that's, that's quite a few trees. He's getting exerted, so I'm going to stop right now. Who knows? Maybe there's a zombie walking nearby that could get to us while we exerted and that wouldn't be fun now would it i really want to get carpentry to like level three so we can uh start actually making some containers where i can store everything because right now we have everything just <laughs> lying around kind of i would like to have somewhere to store stuff spend the whole day actually reading carpentry for beginners and it should be done about now you'll love to see it all right today the man has awoken uh quite on time so we're gonna go on a bit longer adventure quite further out into the city like we haven't uh, been in a while 
And the main reason why we're doing that is because I want to go check a store that has VHS tapes. 19th of December now, he, the man has survived for 17 days, killed 690 zombies, mostly with crowbar. Let's go. Ooh, there's a lot more on the highway up here. Oh, a lot more. <laughs> All right, well, don't hit the tree, dude. Don't hit the tree. Why would you do that to yourself? I think this out here is going to be the place. I think this is the right way to go. Yeah, I think this is the place right there. Okay, this is going to probably hurt. It's going to be time for beta blockers as well. All right, let's start blasting. Let's start blasting the fools. Let's go, boys. Hopefully the silencer is going to work in such a way that we're not going to pull half of the city. Because for half of a city, we do not have enough ammo. It's just the unfortunate way it is. They come out. Come on, you two. Lining up perfectly for me. No alarm, please. No alarm. Good. All right. Let's see what we can find in here. The cook show. All right. We're taking that. More cook show. That's good. Forging stuff. Okay. We're getting some decent ones especially for for cooking the crying of the foxes does it teach you what does the fox say oh they have more stored back here exposure survival do we have that one then we have episode seven good good all right we got quite a few ones now we can go uh take a look at what else we have out here it's another place with plenty of alcohol in here if i find bourbon i'm gonna take bourbon the rest not so much i think there's the uh uh, emergency broadcast uh, over there. I didn't quite see what it said, but I think it was mentioning some rain. Sounds like we have some friends back here. Not quite here. Oh, you're in the toilet. Is that how it is? No, that's not a toilet. That is the office. Is this the red room back here? I wonder if this is the red room. We have a bunch of like film cameras around here. Hey, we found pickles. You love to see it. Give me more pickles. Everything else is rotten. Hey, this thing has 85% hood. All right, we made it back home. We do have one Woodcraft VHS, which is the one that should uh, should teach us more about carpentry. Let's play. Let's begin this one. We have the Woodcraft and let's start learning. Let's go, level one right there. you love to see it. Oh, I didn't realize we were almost like level one cooking as well. I'm guessing from cooking all those fishies that we got out there. It's crazy. But one more tick would bring us to level two. Come on. Come on. Please. Chairs. Oh, uh, next one is chairs. So that's that's done. Well, we almost got to level two. Time for some carpentry stuff. Let's start sawing the logs. We are actually going to get some XP from sewing these. Let's see. 113. 115. Look at that. We are almost up to level two, actually. I'm just gonna grab some of these. I'm gonna start barricading the windows that have been broken through. Actually, probably just gonna put a uh, plank on every of these windows. We're not gonna get much XP for these, but you know, maybe just two planks in every window out here so they can't as easily get in here as they otherwise would. This one could actually level us up to Carpenter 2. No, not quite yet. Ladies and gentlemen, Carpentry level 2. Alright, so this is the backside decently barricaded. That should at least stop the zombies from, you know, getting directly through. Alright, this side has been barricaded as well, which is great. What we're gonna do next is I wanted to actually put log walls on those two tiles. We're gonna move these two away. Alright, let's try this. We can actually put it over here. Okay, that is decent. Perfect. I'm gonna I'm gonna put one more over there. So if they break through the wall, they still have those up front. It's getting pretty dark out here. So let's finish this and maybe go inside where it's nice and warm. But yeah, this over here should now at least prevent Zeds from going through on this side. Fine. Oh, our fish trap broke. That's a shame. Can you actually fix it? You can get wire back. That's about it. Well. It did provide us with some stuff. At level 2 car carpentry, we can now start trying to bring in some of these wooden counters. Of course, if they don't break, they still have a 60% chance to break. Please don't break. We got them. These are 50 kilo storage, so much better than these small things. So we'll have to... We'll be able to have some storage in here. 
Just put this bad boy in the corner. All right, there you go. We're gonna have two of these nice wooden counters over here, which means we're gonna have a hundred extra storage capacity over here in our little room. The man has survived now for what? 18 days? Pretty solid. And today he is on another mission. We still need a book to learn how to work on heavy duty cars and we haven't found it so far. So we're gonna go to a nearby car dealership where I'm hoping we might be able to find that book and finally satisfy that because I want bigger, better cars than what we're driving around now. Oh Jesus, the highway is so full. <laughs> the highway is so full. Uh, we cannot drive through this without hitting zombies. All right, this is the way we're going down here. No, this was not it. Maybe that was it actually. But I think we should be here. It is. This is not the one. Was that a theater? Actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, there you go. Car fix. That's where we need to be. Suddenly, we have issues killing zombies. Let's make sure we don't make any stupid mistakes and actually deal properly with these zombies. Properly. Whoa, see? See, see, see? You gotta deal properly with them. Let's not make stupid mistakes. Good thing the man's strong. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? What the actual hell is that? All right, uh, we need we need a shotgun. All right, they broke through. They broke through as expected. I don't think we have enough shells for all of these fools. <laughs> this was a mistake. But luckily, we can shoot them. Get up. Ah, oh, jam, ready? That is, uh, that is not a good start, but at least they opened the doors for me, so we got that going for us, which is nice. Come on over here, zombies. Yeah, look at that. We're getting plenty with those shots. Start saving the ammo. We only have a couple of shots left. Maybe I shouldn't be saving the ammo. There's a lot in there. There's actually a lot in there. <laughs> uh, I believe in our capability to use our long blunt. There you go. Two ladies at a time. That seems like a great idea. There's at least six, seven in here still. That's fine. I don't know why everybody suddenly decided that they want to be at this car dealership as well. But you know what? We're good. We're fine. No problems whatsoever. Ooh, long blunt level up. Let's go. That's the one we wanted to see. Yeah, we're level three blunt now. That's pretty good. And this should be the last zombie out here lady stay down we have some mechanical books advanced mechanics i believe we already have back at home so just books but no magazines back here that makes me very sad spare engine parts though we do need to be i think level four before we can use them on quick check all oh, these are empty i was hoping maybe we'll find something all right there there's zombies banging out here in the windows as well now we could do another thing we could go to the library at the university but that could be a death sentence there is usually a lot of zombies over there i'm not sure if we can do this especially because we have no ammo and just melee weapons <laughs> actually we have how many more shots 17 shots screw it maybe we can do something let's take a look there's a couple but there's not that many we, we got this, I'm sure. If we can always hit a couple with our shotgun. Gotta remember, we still have a silencer on, which really helps over here with the amount we might pull from this. So if we can keep on shooting like this, taking them out, we got this. Nicely stack up together, pretty please. Come on. Ho -ho -ho. All right. I'm content. This is pretty decent. Yeah, stay there, buddy. Stay there. For the first time, it might be time to sneak over here. That guy is doing his thing. Are we good? All we need is that magazine thing. Yes, performance models. That's the one I think we were missing. Holy shit. Yes, we got him. So I believe, if I remember correctly, there's a second floor as well over here that you can go to. That should have books. So if you manage to get in here, like we just did, you can get all the books you'll ever want. They're basically trying to block my row. Look at them. They set themselves up in a freaking row trying to block me. It's time to start reading some magazines. 
and then we're gonna go and get ourselves a new better car we have seven shells left not quite good enough to go anywhere i have uh gotten ourselves a new gun i have uh picked this uh, what's it called interdynamic kg9 we have a suppressor for a pistol on it we have red dot sight so a silent pistol that we can use it can actually shoot in bursts as well it's definitely not going to do as much damage as we can do with a shotgun, but at least we have plenty of ammo for it. So I think that's the one I'm going to go for next. We also have a light for it. I just found it on one of the other guns we had out here. On the light of a pistol, we read all kinds of magazines that we had out here. So we can now get rid of them. All right, boys, today's the day. We're going to go and we're going to find ourselves a good car i believe in us we're gonna just run on foot to the city and when we come back we'll be driving a good car i think it's time we start testing this bad boy i like the sound i do like the sound of that let's see how it looks with strong panic actually pretty good range is decent damage is decent I like it. Using these guns should also help us with our reloading skill because we have to reload quite a lot. But at least we do have quite a few more shots before we need to reload. Take him down, boys. Take him down. Come at me, boys. All right. Gotta be careful about this, folks. They don't like guns. They like being zombies, though, apparently. All right. Now we have to start moving. We still have a couple of shots. I do like Britas that it tells you how many shots you still have. Alright, uh, he's panicking. These are not exactly the cars I'm looking for, but that's fine, I guess. One day they will all die. If we, if we can actually stay a bit longer and, you know, nicely aim, I think it would be better. Oh, we have a jam. We have a jam. Alright, let's get these boys. We can deal with these guys and then... Uh, we go guns blazing once again. Just a lone apocalyptic warrior. Walking down the street. Nobody around. Oh. I did not know this was here. I did. Oh, I know which this one is. This is the one we hit in multiplayer with Golden Shogun. I'm going to go check if there's any cars in the back. Any police vehicles we could grab. Because that, that would definitely be the goal. Really? Not a single one, huh? All right, let's get these, these two guys inside of the police station and uh, maybe get a key off of them. Where are you all suddenly coming from? Not a single one knows how to make it inside. Is that how it is? This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad because there's two. We're fine. We're good. Do we have a key? We have a house key. <laughs> all right, it's as easy as that, boys. How about that Spiffus truck? I wonder if you can actually uh, grab this one. It looks pristine as whole hell. Let's try hot wiring this bad boy. That guy we do need to kill because he's making noises and he's making me nervous. But let's try doing this first. All right, success. How are we looking? Battery is dead. That might be it. It even has some gas. Okay, we need to find a heavy duty battery then. Looks very nice and quiet back here. Tell me what we got. Okay, a bunch of rounds that I can't really care carry back right now although shotgun shells i will definitely take we have some of canisters over here oh my we're getting some good stuff boys oh we're getting some good stuff i have no idea even what some of these things are we get some laser sides that sounds great striker shotgun and more 12g yes oh my there's even more stuff rifle suppressor beautiful i'm taking that because we definitely need it uh 308 i think are the ones that we need i'm just gonna take magazines and such that I can actually carry right now canister with shotgun shells 10 yes let's go boys oh my god that is such a great find holy shit yes oh this is the oh this made my day this freaking made my day. Let's go, boys. Ooh, there's an empty gas can back in the garage. I went to check if by any chance there could be a police vehicle parked in here. Of course it's not. Ooh. Do you see that gun on that police officer? 
That looks pretty decent. That is a shotgun with some extra shells. We'll take it. We'll also take a nightstick. I do like nightsticks. This one has a battery 1%. Do you think that's going to be good enough? Oh, we have multiple incoming. Stop that. 1% battery is in. What happens? Nothing. We're going to have to start taking some of them out on the street. And then we go down this way. This is going to lead us back towards the mall. And I have to uh, be very careful out here. For I presume there's going to be a lot of zombies. I need to start sneaking some. Because otherwise I will never level up my sneaking. Because I actually haven't even tried leveling up it yet. Yes, the sneakiest man alive. Carrying way too much probably and getting himself killed that way. Let's check this car. 6%. Does it have any gas? No. There's lots of these smaller cars. I want one with big old storage in the back. I mean, these cars, they do look decent, but we all know we're not going to be putting much in the back of any of these. How about that fossil truck? That one looks pretty decent. Oh, I can snipe them from this far. Whoa, that's actually good. That's a bit better than uh, having to come face to face with them with a shotgun. No panic there. I didn't realize he's got that kind of range in this bad boy. I like it. 77 quality there. It's got some gas. I am uninstalling this thing. Give me an alarm now, will you? <laughs> That'd be great. I did take a battery from another car nearby that is 10%. So let's see if that would be good enough. Also, let's see, what's the storage in the back of this? 91. Yes. That's actually pretty good. Yes. Yes, there is enough gas. It's very loud, though. Very loud. Let's turn it off and let's see if that attracted all the zombies. Yes, it did. But I'm a sniper now. Oh, well, I'm a sniper now. Okay, maybe not that big of a sniper, but a bit of a sniper? Good thing we have some extra gasoline with us, so we can fill this one up. And I'm gonna then drive it to the police station. And then we can load up with all the good stuff from the police station and then bring it back home. So why is this bad boy not starting anymore? After just starting? Mechanics! <laughs> why do you hate me? Okay, the battery did go down by a couple of percent. Come on, we had it started! All my carefully laid plans of mice and men have gone to hell it's gonna be 7 p.m soon i'm gonna find myself stranded out here because i wanted to have a car that actually can carry something in the back they weren't joking when they said this is how he died they weren't joking at all stupidity is what killed the cat not the curiosity so stealthy they will never see this that guy actually got splattered by blood and that's what made him think about his life once again. The gas can silence pistol warrior. You will never get this. Oh, we have them upstairs. Alright, we got this voice. He does not got this. He has got this. We have two more shots. Don't waste them. Ooh, easy money. Alright, time to reload now. We could stay up here in one of the offices. That could be something we can do. Yeah, that would be the one. That would be the one. You, buddy. You get the axe. Maybe I shouldn't gone with the axe because now I don't have a light. Okay. There's two. That's fine. As long as it's just two, it's okay. Where are we getting that light from? Is that still from the gun, even though I don't have it equipped? It could be. The best we can do out here is this chair. Which means back pain. Probably waking up to the growling zombies downstairs as well. Alright, zombies, there's a new officer out here in, uh, in. And there's no banging allowed. I'm trying to sleep over here, okay? So stay down, please. Bag of you. Chef, you as well. Which you love to see. These chefs, they have ammo. Grab that. Uh, more bagging. That sounds like there's a couple potentially. I see more through the windows and I'm not sure. Are you gonna go down or what? I did hit that lady, I think. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. 
Oh, fuck! Okay. Good to be a strong character. Okay, there's a couple more. Uh, there's a couple more. Whoo, boy! That gave me a heart attack. And a half. That was so close. That was almost the end of the series over there. Let's reload. <laughs> but we're still alive, boys. You live and you learn. No more stupid mistakes like that. You get cocky, you die. I don't want to die. We have a lot of zombies to kill before we go. Of course, there's multiple incoming. We're not getting enough one shots with this gun to be really uh, worth it and amazing. I think what saved us there was being strong. That's really all that saved us there. Very stupid what we did there. Very, very stupid. S trying to stay in the in the town and force the issue with the car. Extremely stupid thing to do. Don't do this at home, boys. All right, we're gonna actually sleep in this room that doesn't have windows down, so my guy might not be able to see the zombies downstairs. He's tired. It's one in the morning. This has been uh, a stupid day. It's the stupid things that will get you killed in Project Zomboid, and that is exactly what almost got us last time we have slept the night in this horrible place on a horrible chair time to get out and uh find ourselves a car that i've been very adamant on finding to the point where i almost killed myself i'm still gonna be using the pistol we have uh whoa since when did that switch it's not exactly what i wanted this car over here looks pretty decent it can carry 45 in the back I'm gonna try to hotwire it. Oh yes, it's actually full on gasoline. Now we talking, boys. Back to the police station we go. And now over here we can actually load up all the good stuff that is in there. I'll see that I can get at least all of the ammo. If nothing else. That's another canister. Boys, we have ourselves a hunting rifle. I wanna see if I can uh, find any very long range zombies and shoot them. Oh, it is targeting them there. Let's see. Ooh, that's loud. Holy shit, that is loud. That's a miss. We have one more shot. Let's see if we can... Any standing targets? No. Definitely uh, deals damage. Not gonna lie. Definitely deals damage. The zombies are now coming all over the place. Uh, maybe it's time we go. That Spiffus truck? I would like to get it at some point. Shit. I had to do it. I knew there was a parking lot up here from my previous escapades into Louisville. And I wanted to go check it out. Because I knew there's a bunch of cars usually out here. And I see a cool car that I want. Did we just shoot that one in the back? Wow. Oh, look at the battery on this guy. Oh, that's... Uh, and almost full gas tank as well. Unfortunately, it's locked. So we're gonna have to smash the window on one side. It makes me sad. But it is how it is, you know? Alright, boys, we got it. Starting up. We have some zombies banging. I wanna see. What's this? Oh, 106. Yo, we definitely won this one. Which means... I need to go and need to transfer all the stuff from the other car in here. Grab all of this, transfer it to the other one. Now, of course, there's going to be zombies incoming as we do that. Because why would anything ever be easy? Lady. All right. We're all done. It's starting to rain pretty heavily now. It's time to go. We did call in quite a few zombies into the police station earlier. And you might ask, Coco, why the hell are you stopping here already? Once again, well, there's a reason. This Spiffos van is pretty good, like actual good quality. And we did break a window over there, so even though I have crappy mechanical skill right now, I wanted to see if we have the ability to get a window back. We have 65% chance to grab one of these. Wow, we got it. First try. Okay, what are going to be our chances to actually install it back in there? That's that's a good question. 65% chance to install it as well. Come on, you got this, dude. You got this, dude. 
He's got this. Oh, let's go. We are green across the board. If you could grab that vehicle and fix it, that'd be great. It looks in terrible condition, but with some fixing, we could make that into an amazing car. There you go, boys. We are home with all the good stuff. Let's park it right there. Well, that's a proper vehicle park now out here. <laughs> Holy balls on a chopstick. We got 12 boxes of 12 gauge shotgun shells. I brought another canister back here, you know, another container. Look at the guns we have. And all of that is also full of ammo. Sure, all of these just hold 15. And this one, I guess, is for books. But this one, this one is the one we're gonna start filling up next. After the excitement of the last couple of days, we're gonna we're gonna take a chill pill today. We're gonna do some mechanics. We are almost up to 900 zombies killed in 21 days which is just decent nothing too special about it we're gonna see if we can bring this uh higher up so we can be better at fixing our cars 7 30 in the morning we are just starting with uh, level 3 mechanics let's start yoinking these bad boys apart all right two hours later the first car's easy stuff has been fixed we're gonna just enjoy a nice can of chili as we do this before we go work on the second car 256 experience after these three cars i think after we're done with these two or maybe just one of these two we're gonna be ready we are very very close very very close to actually doing this i think maybe uninstalling and installing this window if we succeed at that or not even that let's go level three mechanics boys oh that feels very very good a successful day of mechanics for us we got uh, almost 100 points from fixing that car up it's morning onwards to glory you might have noticed that i have switched the gun i have a new shotgun i have switched it uh let's see arm cell striker shotgun the main reason why i use this one or i'm using this one this time around is because it has 12 shells that we can put in 12 shells instead of just Three. When reloading in the evening, we got up to level three reload, so that's that's great. I'm gonna try to get ourselves a uh, good vehicle, and to do that, actually, I'm gonna use this car's battery. I'm gonna bring it with me because we know it's like 90% or something like that. Yeah, and we can easily uninstall this bad boy and bring it with us. If you don't find a better car, fine. We can bring the battery back here. Now we have very far to go. Let's hope this car doesn't die us. Let's make sure we have the gas scan. Yes, we do. Oh, it's already dying. <laughs> Please don't. We have far to go. We're going to be coming to a festival grounds soon, which is probably very infested, but also could have a useful, good car over there. So we're going to have to pay attention to that right here. You can see there's a Spiffles van, we have some fossil oil, nothing too amazing though. Vans are good, but they're not the best. Alright, this should be the place. Let's hope we have more luck than we had with the uh, police station. Does not seem to be the case. There isn't any fire department vehicles over here. Oh well, time to start blasting with our new shotgun. And let's see how well it goes. At least we can get some fireman outfits out here, which should be uh, pretty good. All right, don't panic, buddy. There's really no need to panic. You got this. You have a shotgun. What do you think could possibly go wrong? These things will never get close to you. I'm gonna switch a bit to the pistol for these uh, single kills. I think it's uh, it's worth it because there's a lot of zombies that come in single line. There you go. Firefighter jackets. Let's grab that. It's a worn one, wasn't it, though? That, that I shouldn't be taking that one. We probably can find better ones. Yeah, this one has no condition. That wasn't a smart idea. But these are full quality firefighter pants. We'll take these. This one is full on quality. But we're staying military. I'm, I'm, I'm not going with the firefighter stuff. Doesn't seem like there's any vehicles in here either. Unfortunately for us. Wow. This lady doesn't want to go down. Oh, yes. All right. That's a proper X. Let's go. At least we're finding that. This Is this just officers for the fire boys? This might be just officers for them. Let's see if they have anything for me. A metal bar we don't really need. Oh, this thing has an upstairs part. 
I don't hear any zombies or anything like that, so I'm not too afraid to go check it out. Oh, this goes on the roof. Oh, this could be a cool place for a base. Hey, this could be a cool place for a base. Yeah, you know, just build a house up here or below this. Oh, I like this. I like this roof. Well, since we couldn't find a good vehicle once again, let's go do something incredibly stupid. And that is, we're gonna drive towards this way and we're gonna go towards the mall. There's a police vehicle over there. I don't know if you could get it out though. But that is definitely an option if you don't find anything else over here. <gasps> yes, that, that vehicle. That vehicle. If I can get this vehicle, that would be the dream. Start firing, boys. Don't miss him point blank, dude. That's not what we want to see. Alright. Let's see how many we can take out with the shotgun. Take them all out. Alright, jam. Great start. Good thing the shotguns and all that stuff are quieter than they used to be and especially with a suppressor we have a chance to clear these guys out without calling the whole mall towards us still have quite a few coming towards us quite a few but that never stopped us right just gotta keep on repositioning just keep on keeping on boys keep on keeping on Woo, boy let's go get him let's get him let's Get him, boys. Oh, a couple more shots, and then we're gonna have to reload. Just a couple left. We got this. Don't let him come too close. The beta blockers are working. We got him, boys. We cleared us out. Those guys hear nothing. Oh, how many did we kill today? We're 975 killed now. Slowly getting up there. Crowbar still favorite weapon, of course. Oh, this bad boy has an axe in here as well. Oh, that's a good start. Let's open it up and let's see how decent it actually is. Oh, doesn't have gas, which is fine. Kind of crappy battery, which we will uninstall. And the front left suspension is not that good. Trunk could be much, much better. We can repair this with what? Okay, you need two mechanics only. Let's see if we can hotwire this bad boy. Not on the first try. Oh, now we talking. Let's go. I'm gonna leave this vehicle over here. Who knows? Maybe one day it's gonna be useful as an escape vehicle. So that's why I'm also leaving the gas in it. We're gonna bring this car back home. On our way back, we can also refuel at that gas station that we have set up. Now we got ourselves a car that I'll be happy to drive for the remainder of this playthrough as long as we can keep it good. Looks like the gas station is very lively once again. I do wanna go refuel this bad boy. Just don't panic, buddy. You got this. I don't wanna use the beta blockers once again. Remember that time when we had this road full on cleared mm, i don't remember level four aiming though oh that is that is very big that is very big and very good we have a full gas beautiful let's go let's go home now if anybody's interested how far we have traveled so far this over here is our home right there this is where we've been around in here where we've got the car shop and all that stuff uh, this over here i think is the police station and this is where we drew all the way now and this right here is the fire station and yeah this this was the mall a couple of days have gone by in the game we're now up to almost 27 days survived and it's good stuff i leveled up my mechanics in between just grinded that a bit and then i went towards the mall which well, not exactly the mall, the Giga Mart in front of the wall, which is the place where I got all of this food. So if you look on the map, we went over here to this Giga Mart where we holed up a couple of episodes ago. I looted that for food. I also went to search over here, which I probably should do an X over. Took all the food, but there was so much more food over there that I left all of that. So what I wanted today is to drive to the military base. The population on the highway just just uh, north of us is also pretty dense. At some point we will want to clear this out if we want to use this highway. Uh, this is where we take a left turn over here. And uh, we're gonna have the big, large, giant, enormous hospital uh, on our right here soon. And that place, when we go clear that, I have a feeling that thing is gonna take hundreds of bullets to clear. All right, we're coming up on military area soon, and this seems cleaner than most. Oh, there is a bunch in there. I wonder if I can shoot them through here. Nope. Not really. 
Oh, the doors are unlocked. Well, that's actually helpful. All right, you can see we're coming down here where we were before previously. Oh, that guy's got some sweet camo right there. All right, take them all out. I wish this ghillie suit would work in such a way that they wouldn't see you. Because that would be kind of cool if you could hide from them. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. Let's test this machete. I feel like it's very short range. Maybe not as much. I never fully looted this place back then. So let's go see what we left behind. A box of shotgun shells. That's definitely what we want to see. Just one. Better than nothing. So that was that was really all we got out of that, huh? All right, I have gone and looted a couple more of these tents down here that we haven't looted last time yet. And got some more ammo, some magazines and such. Let's see what we can find in these tents. There's a lot of these smaller boxes. And there you go. Suppressor for the rifle. I'll definitely take it. Oh, there is a couple in here. Guys, what did these doors ever do to you? Huh? Sorry, buddy. Sam Fisher's night vision goggles. Also, we do have an ammo canister over here with explosive rounds. 27 of those. 40 millimeter explosive rounds. I don't think we have anything we can use to actually shoot this. We might have found a better backpack. It has 85 weight reduction while the military backpack is 87. This thing has 28 capacity while this thing has 35 capacity. I'm, I'm looking pretty cool with this thing. Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, look at that. <laughs> M72 law. We need high explosive rockets. The range in this seems very terrible. It seems like one of those places where you're gonna kill yourself with that explosion. We have found 14 of these static magazines and the eight over here. That is a lot of magazines. We made it home. It looks pretty clear out here. No Zeds around. It is morning. It looks like it's snowing and we have uncomfortable wind chill. Let's go on the road and let's start clearing out the highway as I said yesterday. First customer approaches. Just one lady. Oh, she's got friends. This is decently close actually to our uh, base. So it's only for the best that we clear them out. Hey, if I can just keep on using this gun, I'll be fine with it. We don't really need to do anything else. Hello, lady. How do you do? Or sir. That could have been a sir. You know how it is. Our confidence is a slow and insidious killer. Let's not get ourselves killed stupidly over here. Oh, you turn into a crawler. I don't think that's allowed, buddy. We can we can shoot them before they spot us. Not that that worked in this case. This is a dangerous position to be in. We have that horde over there that we want to shoot. At the same time, we do not see what is over here. You know, there you go. You do not see what is around the trees, which can be... Uh, pretty dangerous if you're not careful what a perfect weather we're having for this battle perfect weather so this is uh, where we have left and right we have residential over here so this is one of those places oh we have jamming again one of those places where we might be getting more traffic now over here we do not have a fence between us and the city anymore which means we'll probably be getting some traffic from these trees and these houses on this side constantly. Let's take one of these for a spin. We have all of them nicely together. Looks like we're coming up on the second intersection soon. I think we have some coming. Oh yeah, we do have some coming from behind. I did not notice these guys. I don't like what is uh, happening over there though. Ha! <laughs> you sneaky beakies coming at me from the trees. Hiding behind the fence. I see how it is. All right. I think we are hearing some behind the fences over here once again. Now I can tell you, we have killed almost 200 zombies today already. So we're doing pretty good. Oh, that's a, that's a large group over there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the railroad tracks. And we do have quite a few coming from this side. So for this pistol, all I have is a couple more full magazines. I don't have on me any more bullets, unfortunately. We're coming from the railroad tracks. 
Make sure we make every bullet count now, boys. And you can see up here, there's more. This is where uh, the cemetery is. Let's see if we can take a shotgun to these dudes. Don't panic, dude. All right, let's see if we can clear out the cemetery. This is gonna be a couple of dudes incoming. Hey, don't waste the bullets. That's fine. I am wasting some bullets over here. That's fine. Why are wasting bullets? Oh, we have a couple coming from behind. Where'd you guys come from? No matter if we have a suppressor or not, they will be hearing this thing. It's uh, it's still pretty loud. And I guess not only in the cemetery. This is the time I will actually take the beta blockers. And hopefully these guys are gonna group up nicely. There's more over here. There's even more over here. Um, I should have turned uh, my car off. Because... Uh, they're all gonna be here in that car, and they're all gonna be going there and chilling around if we don't manage to kill them. Hey, zombies. Ah, yeah, there you go. That's a nicer group over there. How we doing, bullets? Still pretty good? There you go. Group up a bit more. Just group up a bit more. My poor car is gonna be all bloody. Could you please stop this? Almost done now. Just a couple left. Crawler. I'll take the machete to your face and finish this uh, this whole day with a nice machete. Okay, fine. We'll machete this one as well. Seems very dark out here. I think it's going to be time we go back home. How many zombies have you killed today? 300. We have killed 300 zombies today. That's a decent day of work. I forgot to mention that on the day where I got the level 4 mechanical, I actually took the rest of the day to go fishing in our pond. And I spent half of the day fishing, and I caught one fish. Not a very good fisherman there, and that fish provided us with 10 nutrition after being sliced to two fillets. There's our rifle. Look at that scope. That's, that's pretty good. Alright, I decided to drive down here just to test this rifle. That sounds fun. It actually sounds like a lot of fun. It's not that loud. It's not actually that loud. That was a good snipe. With the suppressor, we're doing pretty good. I like the way this one looks. We have a goal for today. If you remember, just close by over here in one of the residential areas, there's a crash vehicle that has uh, an attachment in the back that we can grab and we can tow it with us and we can have a vehicle that, of course, can carry more stuff, which is gonna be good. This is gonna be us right here. We're gonna go in this way. It looks like pretty damn infested out here and i actually put a scope on this shotgun which we apparently didn't have before for some freaking reason yoink yoink oh oh yes this feels good until it's empty <laughs> we're gonna need to start repairing this gun i had three jams on it right now that is the the thing that i wanted to grab we got this boys don't flip it over please <laughs> I'm trying to move it in such a way that we'll be able to tow it. Uh, I think this is gonna be fine. I guess they are hearing my car for some reason. It's almost like my car is loud. Who would have thought? Oh, okay. It's actually pretty loud, apparently. Look at how many we have in coming around here. If you ever had any doubts about gunplay in this game, just grab Britas and play around with it like I'm playing right now. It's so satisfying we should probably go check some of these oh in the trees we should check some of these uh buildings they might have some food for us and such so in houses is where the extremely rare loot actually fires up pretty much everything is empty all of these that i have searched are just empty empty hello zombies where are you ah oh, there you are sir thank you i'm just looking through kitchens right now to find some food and some some places actually have some stuff. We're gonna go deeper into the city. We're gonna go past the uh, tire shop where we've been some time ago, past the Gigamart and all that stuff, if I can actually find my way. And that is where there is a pharmacy nearby. We're gonna go see if we can loot that one and get some good stuff out of it. Uh, it also seems pretty clear. It's It shows that we've been around this area quite a lot. And since we do not have zombie respawn on... Alright, let's grab everything. Beta blockers are the main thing that I do want. 
really don't need the adhesive bandages, let's be real. Oh, let's go. Beta blockers. Awesome. We're getting lots of painkillers and vitamins, which is great. Not exactly what I wanted, but that's okay. Do you have a key? She does have a house key. Okay, we actually have more now. That's fine. Maybe I shouldn't be yelling. It seems smart in the hindsight. Unfortunately, nothing really good back here. But, oh well. This looks like a small book store. Oh, not even that small. It is, actually. I was not even aware this was here. Because it was always kind of hidden. Oh, that's actually great. We got plenty of painkillers, plenty of vitamins out of that. Plenty of water bottles as well. And we did get a bunch of extra beta blockers, which is great. Some bandages and such. We do have our own sterilized bandages that I used our alcohol that we have found to sterilize. So... We got that going for us and now it's gonna be almost 8 p.m it's time to go back home i think all right maybe we're not gonna go home quite yet this one still has food for us don't do this at home boys you got all the loot that you want you got all the good stuff and then you stop it's getting dark and it's like yeah just this one place that i want to loot that's when they get you overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer all right we got a bunch of good stuff we got a bunch of canned food, we got cereal, chocolate chips, all the, all the good stuff that you there want. Some orange sodas, more water, more pop, and tea bag. Spiff would be proud of me. We have almost a full 50 kilo stack of food now over here. That makes me happy. Today, we're gonna go to a smaller police outpost that is uh, a bit further down into the city where we've been going uh, lately and I wanted to go check it out. We're still gonna have to clear this road at some point from the residential over here. There's a lot of zombies coming in. Yeah, I think these two are like schools or something like that. We are gonna be turning right over here soon. This is the sound of the police! Let's go. I hope I brought my sledgehammer with me. And well, I have a feeling we might need some bullets out here as well. Because all of these guys want a piece of me. They want a piece of Max. You know what? Max is a Chad. He's the chattiest of them real Chads. And you will not get them. Come on, you got this. There you go. Appreciate that. House key. Easy. These guys don't think they have much back here. But they might have some stuff, you know? In fact, they do. They actually do. That's a canister of shotgun shells and of 9mm and 308. Now that we have basically robbed the police station, might as well go check this place out. See, uh, see what we might have in the market. I've got a decent amount of canned food. Might as well stop over here and, well, we start having some fun. That lady's got something in her. That's not healthy for you. Let me help you with my pistol. Now, I have a question for all of you who have been maybe in army or something like that at some point. Did the guns that you use there also jam so much? Because these guns in PZ do tend to jam quite a lot. And, well, I only have experience with hunting rifles and hunting shotguns because my dad is a hunter and I've been with him on some hunts and such. But I only ever seen his gun jam like once when we were hunting wild boars. And there was like six of them coming straight for us. He shot the first one. Or the... Actually, no. He shot the second one. And then his gun jammed. He basically almost broke his finger trying to unjam it. I still remember that. Uh, but he managed to then shoot like the last, last pig as well. The last boar. The rest of them escaped. It was like the golden opportunity if you ever wanted to shoot multiples. Let's make our entrance over here if you can. Yes, we can. Oh, they have a swimming pool. Oh, that's nice. Hello, sir. How do you do? Would you mind falling to the ground so I can shoot you? Just uh, just a little bit of a tap. House key. I don't know if that's going to be useful to us, but we're going to grab it. We have uh, some boys coming down the stairs. That's fine. Take him out. That is some real banging going on. Holy... That can't be you, right? Okay. Where'd you come from, lady? That's not allowed. What kind of books do you have for kids? Oh, crayons over here. Yeah, this definitely is a kid's place. Oh, multiple coming down the stairs. I wish I could actually shoot them all instead of wasting my bullets. Oh, reloading level up. Oh, let's go level four. It's raining heavy outside, jeebus. It's only like only like 5 p.m. 
are about to be and it's so dark we might need a shotgun over here because we do have quite a horde incoming there they all went for my car which is good now more of them are coming let's start yonking oh that's a shotgun on that guy come on it feels like he's not hitting everything that he should be hitting inside seems pretty clear right now come on boys that was a professor probably are you a professor as well oh this is the library as well if you ever needed books you know what i'm happy with the amount of libraries we have found in louis so far we'll never lack for books actually skulls closed mother trucker we are starting to get drowsy so we're gonna have to gonna have to leave that pl this place we got some good loot today we are up to almost 1600 zombies killed oh my i did not even notice we are on the 31st of december it's gonna be new year in like an hour and a half what would happen here boys three two one happy oh it's, it's not there yet come on turn around happy new year we're gonna have a celebratory shot actually no our gun jammed Never mind, no celebratory shots then. Come on, 3, 2, 1, yeah, let's go! It's the 1st of January. I think that's like 1994 now. Boom, celebratory shots. I would be like four years old back then in 1994. This is the day men become men and women also become men. This is the day we are sold St. Peregrine's Hospital. This is the day we do not die. Max Chat is ready and I hope you guys are ready as well. So I have loaded up our truck with a bunch of extra ammo. We got lots and lots of magazines. We have our shotgun, we have our 9mm gun and we have the M16 and we're going for the hospital. The biggest, most infested place out here that is not in the middle of the town. I want to go to the emergency uh, entrance in the back. I would be happy to say that this, uh, this area back here is clearer but we all know that's not gonna be correct so uh let's start blasting boys we're gonna have a lot of zeds to deal with i do have my m16 which is also silenced and i wanted to see if i could use this bad boy to snipe some of the zombies instead of the nine mil oh yeah i can see lots of them inside did i shoot two over there that's actually pretty good. Oh, I can actually shoot them inside. Let's go. Look, boys, I will make uh, room for you. I will destroy the windows. Oh, I think I see some of them falling from the upper uh, area. Looks like a couple of them made it out down there. I'd like to take them out. Who am I targeting now? Holy shit, there's so many inside. Yeah, I'm, I just shot two in there. We will leave those banging on the doors over there. Let them be. I'm going for <laughs> these guys. Oh my god, I love this this gun. Oh, all right. We have a couple coming from close by. I don't know if I'm shooting them. I just hear <laughs> I just hear them drop. Oh, that, that was two shots there. Ooh, that we now we have quite a few incoming. I'm not switching to the shotgun yet. I'm actually saving the shotgun for future uses, maybe for more close quarters once we are inside the hospital. So much stuff to shoot in here. So much stuff to shoot. Never enough bullets. This is a lovely place. I hear zombies being real mad somewhere. I gotta make sure that I don't corner myself in here. That'd be a smart idea. Let's uh, just remove this broken glass over here. Should we have a quick exit if need be? We have multiples in here. Oh, I can actually shoot that one from the side. I was trying to break the doors. I was not a big fan, let's be real. Okay. All right, that one was a bit closer. We're going to be seeing a bunch over here. And we're going to have doors from all sides where they can potentially come at us. Oh, they're hiding in there. They'll have multiple in here. Let's see what happens if we switch to a bit longer range. Oh, yeah. The rate of fire is also good on this one. Good shots. We have a couple more friends down there. Quite a few more down here, doing their thing and banging on doors. No more door. Or maybe these guys came from somewhere else, because 
Those guys are still in the door. Ooh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Did you just see that? That is probably all of them coming from upstairs or something like that. That is the time we switch to your shotgun. Feels like it's pretty short at least. But it should still mow them down uh, quite well. I'm guessing those are the guys that came from upstairs. Kind of probably broke a door somewhere or something like that. Let's take you out. It does look like these guys have stayed mostly in there though. So let's switch to M16 and uh, start blasting them. It's still a lot in there. And this is perfect because they're nicely grouped up so I can just shoot two at a time. Nothing, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Good to be uh, silenced because apparently it's silenced enough that they can't actually hear me and come outside. Oh, we have a couple back here. I'm guessing these either came here or fell through the windows from upstairs. Oh, okay. <laughs> a bit bigger group then coming from this side. You guys are nicely lined up. Let me, let me switch to M16. There's no real need to take the shotgun out. They never even hear me shoot. It's surprising how bad are they actually at seeing me. Usually, when you have zombies, they always like know exactly where you are. It's also annoying starting from this side of the hospital because it's harder to see where the zombies are underneath uh, this stuff. And I probably need to do a bit of a reload at some point. Try not to corner yourself over here. Where did this group come from again? That's, uh, that's a lot of them. I just wanted to open a can tuna and this is what I saw. <laughs> All right, all right. And they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. We spent the whole day over here just killing zombies and we didn't really make any way inside yet. Huh, interesting. We're getting queasy. Even we do, even though we have a gas mask on. Up here there is a house somewhere. Right there. I don't know where the road is. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, I'm going to go park next to this house. And we can spend the night over here. Are you, are you in the window over there? Yes, you are. Let me take you. And sir, I'd like to take you as well. Fun fact, this is more dangerous than what we did earlier. Oh, there you are. Well, probably not more dangerous, but you get the idea. Oh, come on. I just heard somebody break the window somewhere. All right, yeah, we had, we had them inside, I guess. Fun. I don't know where what happened with the light on this gun, but it's just gone. Good thing we do have a hand torch, so we got that going for us, which is nice. All right, the man woke up in the middle of the night, panicked and anxious. Yeah, it's great to hear. There, he might be hearing some zombies around or something like that. Doing a perimeter check and everything looks fine, so I'll see if I can get him to sleep once again. All right, we slept till 5:50 in the morning. I'll definitely take that as a it was a win. Let's see how our good old killing ground looks today. Kind of hard to see once again, but we have a lot outside. Like, actually a lot, a lot outside. And I know he's targeting them, but I can't see them, which really, really annoys me right now. It's funny because it targets the man up front and then it shoots the man behind. Still have a bunch just hanging out over here. Really surprising they don't hear me, actually. Definitely still a bunch inside. Let's uh, use our M16. Clear them out as much as we can. That's a jam. And we have a lady coming as well for us. Okay, we actually managed to shoot the one in front. That's, that's pretty decent. <laughs> I've got a torch from a secondary. It's time we enter this place. I wonder if everybody that was upstairs at some point came down here. All right, we actually have a couple more. Never mind then. He actually looks funny when he's shooting with just one hand. Well, the good thing is, for us is that we are now over 2,000 zombies killed. We're reaching up to 500 killed over here at the hospital. Oh my god, they're still coming from wherever this, this goes. Potentially upstairs. Still have a bunch from this side, right? Probably should have cleared these dudes out before we deal with the rest. A bunch trying to make entry from this side and I've been actually shooting them from the inside. Didn't really go that well. Time to enter once again. Maybe this time around with a bit more luck. Maybe we can get further. Still seems like this place is pretty occupied. 
My god. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Pretty, pretty occupied still. I wonder if uh, I can go to the front side of the hospital <laughs> and see if I can make entry there because there's just not that many corpses there. Look how much stuff there still is out here. I really thought we could actually clear, uh, clear the hospital a bit faster. But the amount there is in here... <laughs> It's just the, the sheer size of the whole place. It's just too much. Up front is a bit clearer, which tells me that we have moved a lot of zombies in the back. Oh, yes. Still a couple in here. It's kind of hard to see them, but might as well keep on shooting. As long as something goes green there. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's, that's a lot back there still. If I can shoot them back there... Without them even really caring about me. And just making sure that the guys that are banging on the door over here. I keep an eye on them. All right, everybody nicely uh, stack up and let's do this. There is a few of you that still need to go down. If we can snipe them from back here. We can just do this. Oh, that one just fell from up above. We are only a couple of shots away from leveling up to level 5 in aiming. Are you gonna be the one, sir? Yes, let's go. All right, aiming level five now. Hopefully that makes a bit of a difference. I'm guessing this whole thing is a pharmacy, right? If I can get some beta blockers from... Oh, no, it's a toy store. You would you would assume this would be a pharmacy instead, but that's, that's fine. I mean, there's just a giant group just standing out there on the other side of this hallway. Just, just chilling. You don't really care. I'm not playing as inconspicuous or anything like that. It just seems like these these zombies are stupid. They don't care they're being shot. Great, we are getting drowsy, which is just amazing. Cafeteria. Maybe for staff, maybe for uh, the people that come in here. We might be having some coming from behind us. Oh yeah, definitely a lot coming down the stairs still. I mean, oh, that one just fell down. <laughs> I presume there is some kind of uh, upper area over here where they can actually fall down. I don't know if it has windows or not. Because I can't see them, but I can hear them very, very clearly. Really what we need over here is a bunch of grenades. Operation Hospital. I don't know if it was a success. I would say it was not a success. Going back to the entrance. Doesn't seem like the traffic is any better over here. We have killed, what, almost 800 in these two days. And we haven't even made it into the hospital. We just kind of danced around killing what came outside. I have to say, I think Max Chad has been defeated over here today. I do not want to go and sleep in that stupid house again. I think we're going to go home. We're going to let the zombies regroup a bit. We're going to regroup ourselves. And then we're going to come back. Because look how many there are still on this side of the hospital this is the hospital building we never even got into it's good to be home after two long days of just shooting and shooting and shooting i would like to get some more ammo first and we're gonna go like way down here and get it I also prepped another rifle so we have let's see this one over here the remington m40 I've given it a suppressor and all that stuff, and we can use this. Unfortunately, this one does not take magazines. We do have another 308 gun that takes magazines, but it's in really bad condition, so I'd rather not use it because we have, look at that, 67 boxes of 308. So, where we're going to the army prep store, whatever it's called, I hope we're gonna get enough bullets that we won't able be to carry them home. Because of our many, many wild adventures, the hood on this car and the windshield on this car have been like down to 10-15%. So I replaced them. You know the other heavy duty car that we have, like the news vehicle? We did a good old switcheroo. So our hood is now around 60%, I think. And the windshield is at like 85 Alright, we're gonna start staging out here a bit. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright, we can switch to the bigger rifle once again. And start yoinking these. Oh my god, I love this rifle. If you don't have a sledgehammer, you can just go from this building, through that window, build from here, across over there, and then you'll be fine. But for us, since we do have a sledgey, that shouldn't be a problem. Out here, up front, you'll be finding some good stuff. Oh, I can actually wear 
A scarf. Ooh, actually ammo over there? That is cool. I was not aware that you can get ammo from these as well. I'm definitely taking that. And there's some more canisters with useful stuff. It looks like there's somebody stuck back here. Anybody else? We have so far already found so much stuff. He's gonna take a while before before he can do anything over here. So I'm just gonna, just gonna grab some water. I'm gonna let him do his thing. Crossbow bolts? I was not, you know, even aware that Britas adds crossbow bolts. I had no idea. I have to be careful to shove him away after we do this. There you go. All right. That's the spirit, buddy. Stay down. And this is where the mother load was supposed to be. So let's see what we have over here. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple more things. <laughs> there's a couple more things. I cannot pick all of this up there is no way oh it's a grenade launcher right there funny enough there is less things over here that there was outside in the other storage areas we have gotten a lot of stuff out of here there's still a lot of stuff for us to get but for now we will call it good besides the fact that there's actual zombies where that house was this was a great plan and that I'm shooting the louder gun. Also not ideal. Maybe this was a terrible decision. Terrible idea, Coco. What were you thinking? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a really great idea. How many of you have come over here? They're gonna break this whole house, aren't they? Ah, shit. This was a slight mistake we survived the night easy money there was never any doubt in my mind that this uh, would be anything but an easy deal i remember now that i wanted to have a better gas mask and look at that we already started with a jam you know what is a slight problem though with my plan i forgot i didn't really have any extra food for us to go on this uh, extra day of adventure so peaceful in here only one zombie in okay maybe two zombies that's fine only two zombies only three zombies that lady there as well she doesn't count i hear somebody else oh where are you guys coming from from this side i still don't know where where this leads oh there's there's another one there there's a okay you guys are kind of everywhere aren't you fucking hell all right, now you guys are just cheating, coming from every single room at me. Oh yeah, they're, they're definitely gathering out here once again. And inside as well. Brap, brap. Oh Jesus, I was standing right next to a zombie. <laughs> I kind of heard him, but I wasn't sure where he was. Looks like more came outside. I presume they were upstairs. Actually trying to disassemble some watches over here would be great XP. Yeah, this is the door, but I think we still have a couple out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to go up here because it's just so tight. There's still more over here. That's the door where it says exit. That's the one that leads upstairs as well. Out and up. Yet still more come down this way. I think we have big boy guns for that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. There's so many tight corners in here. And look at this. I go for like five seconds in that other hallway and look how many have arrived over here already. This side of the hospital looks clearer. There goes a lady and this over here is a library. It's, it's getting slightly scary, not gonna lie. Is that a gun box? A suppressor and a weapon light. Let's hope we didn't get ourselves cornered in here because I, I hear a zombie. But good thing I still have my reaction straight up. Holy shit. Alright. Oh, that's another zombie. And that, that didn't go well. That did not go well. That's a nag bite with laceration. Oh, where'd you guys all come from? Alright, I'm gonna die if I don't fix this nag bite in about a second. Let's run over here. Sterilize bandage. Yay, that was stupid and a half all right well that's how our hospital adventure ends today now we need to go to a more sterilized place where i can heal my stupid neck and not die from laceration jesus start sniping you guys there you go good thing we have some proper guns out here at least 
hospital almost claimed their life out there. Still can, as we know, the laceration is like, what, 25%, I think? Time and time again, overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. And that zombie, well, that zombie kind of went through me. I, uh, I was saying something about quick reactions, didn't I? <laughs> That didn't save me there. Oh, the ammo is safe at home and so am I. <laughs> Remove and I'm actually gonna disinfect since we do have some time right now, even though we're still uh, still bleeding pretty badly. Dryers over here full of ammo. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Let's, uh, let's never turn those on, please. <laughs> we got everything out of that. The grenade launchers for the... Explosive rounds, that sounds like a great thing to use. And this might be a terrible idea, right? Because uh, of everything that has already happened today, this might be uh, might be a really terrible idea, but I wanted to test that grenade launcher. So I don't know if you can target a zombie with it, or how does it work? Oh, well, it didn't really hit a zombie. It made some noise, and I presume if there were some zombies there, it would potentially hit them. Alright, well, um, not perfect. Maxwell Chadwick still lives. The nag is bandaged, and he is fine. One day has passed, I wanted to wait to see if his health is gonna deteriorate, but he is fine. We're gonna do something stupid today as well. As also, you can see over here, this glass, this uh, window being broken. We actually had some zombies come through here, break through these windows, and, you know, just uh, just wanted to party around. I uh, kind of prevented them from doing that. I said, no, you're not allowed. So what are we doing today, you ask? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the siren on our car to attract massive hordes and then get rid of those massive hordes. All right, this is where we're gonna stage these houses right here. Lots of these zombies will want to prevent us from being here, I presume. It does sound like we have zombies upstairs, so gotta be careful. Who the hell are you? Right there. All right. You'll love to see it. We're gonna attach a sheep robe back here in the back side of the the area. That's gonna be it's gonna be our way to get up and down. Let's go. All right. Well, zombies. We'll see you soon. Oh my god. Well, let's take a look how this. Uh, this gun works. Oh, they prefer the sound of this. Oh my. All right, let's uh, let's start yoinking with this one. That should be better. This is uh, very uh, very efficient as well, and actually not that many zombies as imagined. I don't know exactly what is the range on uh, the sound of this thing that we're using right now. There should be a decent amount, although compared to what we did at the hospital. This isn't that many. A couple out here, but not nearly as many as I presume there would be. But that's all of them. I, I presume we have a couple in the house as well. That was way less than I imagined. How about we come over here and we utilize this church right there. That was stupid. I really should not have uh, done that to my car. Oh, hello, boys. Where are you guys coming from? Didn't see you there. Sorry. All right, we're going to have a couple of stairs to break over here, unfortunately. Oh, the, the problem comes with cheat ropes over here, because uh, I'm on the roof now. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is uh, this is the best place. Further up the road, there seems to be a bunch of uh, Zeds over here already waiting for the fun that's going to begin soon. Hello, sir. You are in the house that I have picked. And my gun has jammed. Multiple over here as well. Let's see if we can make entrance to this house without potentially killing ourselves. It's just, uh, they're not how I pictured them to be. You know, when I uh, thought I would be dealing with them from the safety of upstairs area. And it's actually getting late. Lots of open doors up here, but we're fine. This is the window that we have. You shoot over there and if you of course want to sleep which i'm starting to think might be a good idea it's 7 pm i'm gonna add the sheep ro sheep i'm gonna add the, sh add the sheep rope back here there you go the stairs shall be gone okay awesome so we have the stairs 
destroyed. Let's put the sledge back in here. The man woke up at five in the morning. I guess he's uh, very eager to start the day and start slaying. In fact, he's, he, he was getting bored. Let's go alarm this time around and let's run. Looks like we have the first boys incoming. First couple of boys. We'll see how many there's gonna be. Hello, friends. Just standing there, huh? Don't worry about it. Oh, we have a couple more that I don't quite see over here, huh? We do have a lot of them banging on various doors around. Around? That I can't quite see and will never see them. But I presume these guys are gonna go through this house or houses, wherever they're banging. They're gonna go through them pretty quick. But I really don't have that good of a vision cone from here. Oh, these guys have just come, I think, through the building. I think they broke the window down here and just got through. It is interesting that sometimes they do prioritize the gunshots, even though we have a silencer on, over the actual siren. We're gonna be hitting that... 3k today maybe sped up the game a bit just to see if we're gonna have more incoming over here a couple more as you can see oh you're there and then that guy's there and i see somebody right next to me which is not nice otherwise i think we're pretty good and it's only 7 30 in the morning so how about we cruise a bit deeper into the city and try to do another one of these we have greens over here, and I think there should be a gas station nearby as well. Hello, friends. Oh, yeah, there's a gas station. So, really what we need to do now is find a place that might have two stories. Oh, something like this. All right, how many do we have out here? Oh, wow, that's really bad shooting, buddy. Is it the panic? It might be the panic. This fog really isn't helping anybody, because I, I can't see anything. Let's hope there's nobody else in here. Just that one guy. Hello, sir. All right. How are we looking back here? Decent. All right. We have a couple trying to get to the house. Stay down, please. Of course, all the doors are open. Who leaves all the doors always open? You people. What's wrong with you? We gotta add a sheet rope in the back over here. That's gonna be our way in way out oh the visibility is really terrible down here but we should hopefully be fine let us destroy the stairs over here and then uh, we can turn on the siren and have some fun once again let's just do this quickly okay that one is annoying let's go alarm i prefer alarm all right we are up there's been some zombies downstairs let's hope day clears a bit and we actually get some better visibility all right we are ready i think we have a couple down here. Not that I can see them, but I can see their outlines when the gun targets them. So we got that going for us, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, really, this, this fog isn't helping anybody. They will, of course, try to destroy the door down here. I can't blame them. I would try that as well. And yeah, we'll be hitting that 3k very soon, I think, over here. Oh yeah, they are... Definitely grouping up over here nicely. Hello, friends. Oh, my. <laughs> Good thing we have uh, that extra Molotov if you need it. I'll stop with the gems. Come on. There you go. We are over 3k zombies killed now. Very, very good. Oh, they have managed to break the doors, which means... Some of them are gonna be coming inside as soon as they uh, hear me shooting. I presume there's none left back here we good oh there's definitely more down here we can now go home we have done some good stuff today but the the fog is kind of kind of killing this whole thing isn't it we made it home and that's the most important thing just a nice casual day of murder and now watching some uh videotapes right nothing wrong with that uh how about we turn this on first? There you go. Now you can play and you can read the foraging thing as well. Today, we're gonna fit in the plans that we were talking about ages ago. And today, we're gonna go to a fire station that we visited some time ago. And we're gonna make it our new base, our forward base 
for eventual attack on the giant as small that is part of Louisville. I've loaded the car with all kinds of food and ammo and weapons and all the things I could think of. Of course, we cannot take everything with us. That's just not possible. It would take quite a few runs to do that. I also looked through our ammo supplies and we have plenty of 308 ammo. So I took a gun that uses that with us as well. We also have a decent amount of shotgun shells and some ammo, the 5.56 for the uh, M16 that we're using. This bad boy looks like he's got a good hood. Maybe we'll have a stop over here. A couple more boys coming down this way. Maybe I should take them out before I try to do any vehicle mechanics. I don't want to get jumped by any of these. And of course our goal is to take care of the city anyway, so might as well do that, right? Alright, new hood is gonna be acquired in about a second. There you go. Alright, and now we can go replace this bad boy over here. Oh yeah. It's down to 0% now. Hmm. Good timing there, good timing. The engine is still 81, so the engine is decent. I do need to get some uh, metal working skills. Look at that, three metal working in both of these to be able to repair. So I, I can't really do that. All right, this we should be coming uh, very close to the fireplace or fire station, whatever you want to call it. Yes, yes, this is it. We can we can nicely park inside, keep our car safe as well. A couple of friends are coming. Don't worry about that, friends. Uh, I'll take uh, I'll take good care of you. These trees that we have over here are going to be ideal. Chop down and then create some window barriers. Now we have to make sure this is empty. I'm pretty sure we have cleared out the whole place downstairs last time, but you know I would rather double check than anything lots of space for activities up here we also have a water dispenser a nice kitchen you know all the luxuries that we didn't have out there we also have some food out here sardines and such what is there not to love our own fridge hey it's great we have a pool table over here a tv some sofas oh man we're gonna have some good times over here and these over here are the sleeping areas we can sleep over here or we can sleep in any of these bunk beds over here these ones are average quality, so we're not going to be sleeping here. But this one over here does have good quality sleep, so that's all I really need. No toilet zombies, which is a, a big bonus. There's some nice proper jackets over here if you really needed them. But, you know, we're going with that military look. All right, upstairs is also clean. We are looking good, boys. Let's destroy this wall over here. Now, I'll tell you the reason why we're doing this. This is gonna be kind of our entrance into the garage, right? Now, I wanna build a wooden fence over here, right there. And we can add the escape rope. All right, and now if we go down here, yoink, we come into the garage. Perfect, right? Which means that now we can go and take a hammer to the stairs and we're gonna have a nice safe area up there. Now we have a lot of windows that we could barricade over here, but I was thinking, what if instead of barricading the whole of this section, we go over here and we put log walls right there, like these three log walls right here and basically seal off this area. We don't need this downstairs area at all. We barricade a couple of these windows and call it good. Now let's hope we don't get jumped while we, uh, take our axe to these trees. That would be slightly unfortunate. We're gonna have to chop off a bunch of trees to actually even do this properly. Easy. All right, that would be the second log wall over here. Yoink. There you go, this is gonna be the last one and then we're gonna be kinda nicely isolated in here. Perfect. I think uh, we're gonna store the ammo and such in here. All right, organization done. We have this box over here with our food. More than just one, I see. You guys, oh, come on, not a jam right now. Sir, sir, what did that window ever do to you? Stay down. The night went by peacefully. We're all good. Today, we're going to go explore the neighborhood a bit. And of course, barricade some of these windows. That would be a good idea. Now, we have cleared this fire station before. We don't really need to take a look at that. We have zombies playing <laughs> tennis over there. No, that's a basketball court, actually. Never mind. I'm thinking over here, uh, there should be some food places that we're gonna go take a look at. But first, I wanna actually 
drive all the way down here, further down here. There should be a gas station before you get to the mall somewhere around. We do have just one generator with us, so that's a bit unfortunate, but you know, it's gonna be fine in the long run. I need to pay attention to what's happening all around me as well. But this is a pretty good start. I, I thought there might be one of them sneaking up on me. Preemptively go and uh, say hello to them. The range on this gun is superb. Like I, I love this range, and it it does actually have a pretty good minimum range as well. So not even an issue. We have a couple more groups down here. I just noticed there's some people at the gas station as well. Are we really sniping them from this far? And this is the entrance area to the mall. The mall is further up here. That's going to be our next target. We hook this up to a gas and then go see if we can have some junk food from this gas station. There you go. Generator is going to be connected now. Oh, somebody's shooting somewhere. Jesus, that's going to move some zombies. We found a bunch of good stuff. Seven sodas. We got peanuts, 15 pops, more junk food for the for the glory of the junk food gods. If we go back here, maybe this this taking this valley really isn't the best idea, is it? No, this is not the best idea. But this sh oh, this over here should be a gun store, I think. Yep, this is definitely a gun store. You can see American flag and that's going to tell you we sell guns over here. But what do we say to guns? We say not today. And uh, we go over here with a thing. There might be some food for us. I'm sorry because I have to break the windows for you, but somebody has to. Never mind, all they're selling is uh, pens and pencils and doodles and scissors. This might end up being a fight for us. There's also some inside. Gotta be careful not to have my gun jam in a unfortunate moment. Yeah, it's, I thought that's not gonna really work. This should be good enough. Hello, friends. With this burnout building behind us, who knows, there's probably no zombies upstairs. So it's not that big of a war that something's gonna come at us. Food stores over here that I kind of wanted to check. Still have multiple out here on the street that do not care about our gunshots. Alright, so beer cans in here, huh? Alcohol then? Not the biggest fan of that i will take a couple of these let's go check this grocery store as well hopefully there's gonna be something that's not just fresh produce chocolate donut now we are talking that thing never goes bad even though it's been like half a year since the apocalypse more now oh my god we have a frosted donut as well this is the best day of my life all the cakes and pies and all that stuff always rotten donuts donuts survived the apocalypse as well You'll love to see it. Food has been acquired. Uh, we're gonna go home. We're gonna start barricading from the outside. So, you know, before before they smash the window, they actually have to go through the planks. All right, we have this whole place barricaded. What we can do is start like patching holes and adding some padding to all of these. So back at the, the previous base, we did read the tailoring book. So we do have the XP for that. So we're gonna start uh, adding padding to all of these. That should give us a bit of XP each. Why is everybody always coming to this window is my question. What is about this window that you guys like so much, huh? Well, that was some bad shots there. I wonder because if he's because he's tired. Well, it is past midnight. If we are to do something tomorrow, it's about time we go to sleep. All right, well, uh, I want to try out this new rifle that we have. What's the range in this bad boy? Decent. All right, it does have to reload after every shot, which is uh, definitely going to slow it down a bit. But it's got a decent shot. The good thing about Louis is there is many, many places that have guns. Are you in here, sir? You are in here, aren't you? Stay down, please. Now, let's see what we have in here. It's some magazines. I'm not really gonna be doing too much looting right now. Ooh, that's a lot of ammo. Nine mil Uzi. I I do like the sound of that. Oh, look, we have more uh, BMG rounds. Weapon light. I won this for this bad boy. Yes, we can actually upgrade back to having a weapon light. That is great, awesome, and amazing. Explosive rocket. Hell yeah, we're taking that. Now this place right here is the one that I wanted to clean out of zombies. We have 
some in the garage quite a lot in the garage apparently they can oh yeah it did shoot too you'll love to see it that guy's brains got splatter back there so from over here oh we have a couple more down here sorry lady from over here we get to see the parking lot of the mall and then the mall itself is further up there so i was thinking if i park my car over here turn on the siren pretty much everybody at the mall should be hearing that right all right now we have the toughest job actually getting upstairs so there's gonna be one over here stay down all right this is the last apartment i haven't heard any zeds in a while so i presume this place is gonna be safe as well you know famous last words let's add the sheet rope over here and then we just have this bad boy to climb down this place is now fully ours you love to see it. Now, I don't want to start with this today because it's getting late and all that stuff. I want to go back home and get some more ammo and some more guns. Oh, he woke up before 5 in the morning. He's really excited to start doing this today, I guess. Right here somewhere, I believe, was the plan to put this car. Let's begin. All right, do we have any guests? We're starting to have some guests. My God, that sounds loud. It is pretty loud. Also, we should check how many kills have we got. 3,200. Alright, that's pretty decent so far. This is a very slow gun still. Couldn't fire more rapidly. That's fine. This would be the place to have that grenade launcher with us. Back to the good old M16. Yep. This uh, definitely does much better. I can, I can see a couple more coming but none of them are coming from the mall my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined what happens if one drives around with a siren and comes closer to the mall and i'm just gonna be ground trooper now i want to see how many comes from the mall oh yeah that's a couple more incoming there this would probably be a perfect timing to have a shotgun instead of the rifle I love the fact that we do not shoot the guy that is directly in front of us. We shoot everybody else. I mean, actually this worked out well. Because uh, having the siren where we had it before, we cleared anything that might be coming from behind me right now, right? What is there not to love? Just so many. Maybe the lag is going to kill us. 9 mil it is for these guys that are coming closer. And we go back to the big old group that is still getting bigger. This is a perfect time, by the way, to get myself killed, though. Because I won't hear anything coming from behind me. You know what? Yeah, guns do make Project Zomboid safer. Who would have thought that I would say that ever? Guns make you safe. Safety first. Safety is all that matters. Chadwick, how about you just open a can of peas while you uh, wait for the zombies to, you know, group up. It's nothing wrong with that. That was a couple zombies. <laughs> that was a couple of zombies. Holy, holy balls on a chopstick. I guess the siren just doesn't reach that far. Maybe you should move it to other entrances as well. That could be kind of cool. All right, you guys follow me. We're going to go maybe in this direction. Come outside, boys. It seems we have cleared this quite nicely. Look at these guys just sitting there, chilling with the doors, not caring there's a siren around. That's the spirit. Come one, come all. You can't count on zombies being on the pill. All right, boys? Even if a zombie says they're on the pill, if it's your first time meeting them, please, use a condom. Also, we have now killed over 4,000 zombies. Couple more inside. Oh, there is a lot back here as well. I can already see them. Time to be a bit more careful. Time to not get myself cornered. But if I can interest these guys in not eating me and actually listen to the sound of the siren, then this could be pretty good now all we have to be careful is we don't get any zombies from behind the corner we do have a couple coming from behind as well surely we can count on these guys slowly moving towards the siren it's i think for the best we're not using the bmg over here if we were using bmg over here it would be extremely loud but just look at this ball of fur and love and also zombies the grand battle for the mall 
continues making sure that they, they get the proper burial they deserve if you can call this a burial that one somebody lying on the ground and i think the battle for them all has been won all right show me the katana in you i wonder how many digital watches gonna dismantle over here 15 in one spot yeah easy money just just dismantle 15 in one spot it's Seems like, hey, level <laughs> plus one skill in electrical. We're well, level two, boys. I think we can call this a very successful day. We have killed over a thousand zombies. I uh, cleared them all. Get off my goddamn street so I can drive. Well, the authorities out here in the city, if there were any, would thank us for the cleaning that we have done. I think today, after killing a thousand zombies, the man deserves to eat a chocolate donut. Right? I think, I think he really, really deserves it. Hey, and that's a skill up for a reload. And look at that, both at level five now. The day has come when we go and we assault the prison in the middle of Louisville. What could possibly go wrong? This time around, we are not gonna abuse the siren on our car. Nope, we're not gonna do that because we did it in the last couple of engagements. And in the end, it just makes the game too easy, right? Nobody wants to see me do easy stuff. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our shotgun that we haven't used in quite a while and we're gonna go in there guns blazing it's been a while since we used this bad boy it's a beautiful day to do what we're gonna attempt to do why is it every time we are in the goddamn suburbs trying to do something it's so foggy we're passing some big old buildings now it's getting a bit more crowded out here in the middle of the town we have to be up there we have to be up there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here behind this house and we're gonna stage behind this house and then go up. All right, this is us. This is us. Let's uh, let's start yoinking. Let's start popping. Maybe put that CQB on. I don't see any zombies. We are not shooting as many zombies as you would hope with this thing. These guys love my car. Stay down. Oh yes, it's it's good to be switching to a shotgun once again. Slightly loud, probably. All right, we have incoming from this side as well. I see you behind me. Good thing we have the outlines in the in the darkness or in the fog, I should say. Now I don't know how fast we're gonna be going through this ammo, but we do have a decent amount of shotgun ammo anyway. We're we're gonna have to get into this house. If we are to do what we want to do. I think they broke down the doors back here. Yes, they did. Alright. Stay down as well. Oh, that's a, it's an officer over there. Maybe I should use 9 mil out here a bit. Oh, that finally shot that guy up close and personal. <laughs> well, good for me though. They have uh, actually made this entrance for me. Easy! Oh, Jesus. I didn't even hear you, buddy. Also, he seemed to die from me pushing him there. He's starting to panic again, which is far from good. We got real lucky we didn't get scratched or bitten or anything like that over there. That was a bit too close for comfort. How about I don't get jumped like I did? This is uh, all very, very safe what I'm doing. Don't worry about it. What could possibly happen and go wrong over here if you're basically surrounded by zombies also i'm probably gonna get myself killed if i continue doing this see this lady oh shit all right um now it's time to move a bit further away let's go out all you need to do is take the pills and they will be gone they will be no more how looking yeah easy and safe let's be uh let's be especially careful up here that's the that's the hallway that we are gonna we're gonna use hello sir no, you don't want to stay down? There you go. Okay, we're gonna have all those down there are gonna come up the stairs. I've seen a couple more downstairs. We'll see uh, how far, how fast they can make it up here. Or they can just die on the stairs. This is the day we eat the frosted donut. I think the man deserves it. Frosted donut, here we go. I have found a house key in this guy. Since he is lying here, I wonder if that house key... I wonder if it's gonna work for this uh, for this house, because this thing's got an armory. And I would like to go get that armory. I see a man. My goal over here would be to go loot the armory as 
as soon as possible. Okay, this is not the best position to be. Oh, they actually broke that door. Which probably means there's a couple there. Oh, yes. I think that that one leads to the armory. Yeah, you guys just please stay down. Okay, we have more coming from the stairs. Lots of police boys. Something just broke, I think, on my gun. Oh, yeah, that was a suppressor. <laughs> suppressor broke. Well, maybe you can find one in the uh, in the armory. Oh, the sound is so good, though. Holy balls on the chopstick. And these guys, these police officers, all have, like, their own shotguns. Probably none of them suppressed. Ooh. <laughs> uh, there's a... There's a couple more over here now. Oh yeah, we have some coming up the stairs as well now. Shit, don't jam on me, buddy. The silencer breaking over here was not part of the plan, let's be real. Optic broke as well, oh my god. Yeah, that was not according to plan. Definitely not. Oh Jesus. And with the, how loud this gun is, it's gonna be hard to hear them coming from behind me. So let's do a good old switcheroo over here. And do some of that. Sir, lady, shit. Okay, this could be bad. Run, dude. You're fine. Don't worry about it. You're fine. Uh, now you need to take the pills because you were panicking for some fucking reason. Not sure why exactly. All right, uh, the bigger horde should be coming. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Uh, we have a blind spot over there. Shit, gun's empty. Hey guys, don't worry about these stairs. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Tactical retreat has been made. We stage back here where we know our back is safe. Even though we're now probably calling more people here than I ever intended to call. Let's quickly switch to 9 mil. Did something break or not? Oh my god, suppressor and 9 mil just broke as well. <laughs> I mean, today is a cursed day. Today is definitely a bloody cursed day. Yep, I mean, that was not on my bingo card. But fucking cursed, man. Today is a cursed day indeed. Alright, 9 mil, let's go. It's working decently, but all of these guys are now coming towards me. I still think we can get in there. Easy money. Just need to clear these boys out. Make a bit of noise. Nothing wrong with a bit of noise. Just these guys just keep on... Keep on keeping on. They're still coming from back here. They are, like, breaking windows on the other side. Ah, suppressors, how I miss thee. Oh, they are... They're all around. Shit. All around. Who would have thought that guns would be loud, huh? That's uh, it's a really surprising thing. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Stand on the other side of the fence. I'd uh, really appreciate that. I don't think I brought much 9mm ammo back with me. Probably not. Nothing to see there. We're good. You guys are annoying me. Just making noises back there. And then I don't know who am I actually fighting. So if I could actually shoot these dudes. I just, I just can't. I think the fog is lifting a bit. How many did we kill today? Like 300 over here? Don't really want the, the panic to set in here. And there's more coming. But yes, the fog is lifting. So that's good for us. Like the fog is lifting, but the zombies are still coming. We're gonna be running out of 9 mil soon. We're gonna need to push in there uh, into the armory and get some good stuff out of that armory. Because if we run out of ammo over here, that is a uh, mission failed. And let's be real, Max Chad never fa fails a mission. Okay, sir, stay. Oh, I wanna shoot him! I don't wanna shoot you back there. There you go. How's it looking indoors, I wonder? Oh, that's how it's looking indoors. Okay, uh, let's move out because we have some more back here. Those guys are not coming out yet. I saw you going down the stairs. 
That guy's pants just got ripped off as a shot. Missed that. Let's push inside. I want to get to the armory. You know? Let's actually complete our mission today. Not we really need to get to the armory. You know? Oh no, don't, don't be drowsy. Dude. Why are you drowsy already? Oh, there's still people down there. Oh, people down here. There you go. Probably, uh... Looking at more doors. We have broken all the windows over here. Nothing to see there. Nothing wrong with that. We really should probably be uh, looking at some of these police officers. Oh, cigarettes. Sweet. Hello there, sir. I'm gonna shoot you with my very silent gun. Don't worry about it. It's a, it's a very silent gun. Nothing to see over here. Okay, they have broken all kinds of stuff over here. Sir, sorry about your hat. All right, I need to go in here. I think. Jesus, they really have broken everything. Where are you? You're there. Thank you, lady. Uh, that's that's not the place, but it might have some ammo. Or a silencer, you know? Uh, or shotgun shells. Coach gun. That sounds cool. BMG. Any of you have suppressors on you? That'd be sweet. Uh, no, that's a choke. Choke's good. So I have bushcraft. Oh, this looks good. Cool. I want that. I want to see how it looks. I can hear them around. Oh, that lady man, doesn't care. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, no, these guys care. They do care. There's a couple that care. Stay down, please. I'm just trying to loot your uh, good stuff. Rifle scope is not going to be it. Oh, shit. Uh, that's a couple in front there. I see you. <laughs> Uh, we might be a bit cornered over here. That's fine. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Anybody else? We're good. We are not quite good. Hmm. Maybe my quest for a suppressor have uh, brought new guests. Uh, yes, new guests. Definitely new guests. Oh Jesus. Uh, start reloading. Start shooting. Reload a bit more. Start shooting, buddy. Shit. Uh, move, move, move. Shoot a bit more, shoot a bit more. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. Uh, we're fine, we're fine. Nothing to see here, we're fine. Max, Max! Oh! <laughs> Max! What have you done, Max? One month, 15 days. 4,700 zombies killed. Okay, there were quite a lot out here. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, Max. This was uh, not how it was meant to be. <laughs> but oh, there's, uh, there's a couple zombies here. There's a couple zombies here. Fuck. Um, suppressors. Important, apparently. Very, very important because all the police officers hate unsuppressed guns. Thank you everybody for staying with me throughout this whole series. I too am very sorry it ended in such an abrupt and bloody way. But Max almost killed 5,000 zombies. He did not complete his mission. But I'm sure whoever is going to be next is going to do much better.